back on track here. Um, I want to add an addition to the agenda. Um, we would like to talk about, briefly, five minutes, yeah. about um, a, a CLG grant for East Callis. And Scott and David and Mark Mahali are here. Does everybody know everybody? Do we need to do any introductions? I'm Mark Mahali. Do you know everybody on the I'm board? I'm Sharon Lynn. I don't know Mark. No, I don't. Okay, that's hi. Tom Rose. Hi, Rose. Oh, you know what? We didn't do an attendance thing. No. Oh, I have my clipboard. Okay. Katie, our recording secretary, got was sick at the last minute, so she's not able to join us. I'm going to pass around an attendance sheet, and if everybody can just put their name on it. All right. So. David, quickly. So, thank you uh, for ask, uh, allowing us to present to you. Um, we're under a uh, timeline that calls for a 2020 Callis Certified Local Government Grant to be um, applied for by the 19th of this month. And the Callis Historic Preservation Commission met uh, recently, we went through three different ideas for grants in the coming year, and overwhelmingly and, um, and completely in agreement, every member of the commission uh, want to submit a grant application to help resurrect the East Callis General Store. So there's much talk, of course, of what's going on here in West Callis with the Maple Corner store. But there is also a small group of people that is gathering on the east side of town to do essentially the same thing, but with a very different strategy. In this case, um, this is a building that is historic. Mm -hmm. In the case of Maple Corner, not so much. So this is the perfect example of a gathering place in the community as well as a commercial uh, necessity for the residents on the east side of town, particularly in view of the fact that Woodbury no longer has its general store, North Montpelier no longer has its store. Mm -hmm. So in the Route 14 corridor, the East Callis uh, general store is vital to all of our residents on that side of town. So the Preservation Trust of Vermont got involved with this group, um, uh, which as I understand it includes you, Denise, mm -hmm. as well as Scott Bassage, and Scott will and bring, Mark. And Mark. Scott really is the best person to bring you up to date on where that effort stands. But basically, we were concerned about the building, so we want to do an assessment of the building that would allow them, this group, to go forward knowing exactly what the needs of the building are and uh, basically putting together a capital budget for that project to, uh, to continue and to make progress. And um, it, this, this grant is due in on the 19th. And the, and yeah. the 17th. Yeah, better not 17th. Day after tomorrow. Oh, 17th. Oh, tomorrow. Very, very damn 17th. Soon. 17th. Yeah. And it's, tomorrow, it's, it's, tomorrow. it's a little bit like creating a sculpture. It's, it's sort of, it's a little bit unformed right at the moment. Not all the details are done. But we've got a good idea of what the budget will be and the, and the basics. We're going to hire consultants to help us with um, code, code compliance in the building. Um, we'll, we'll have our consultant walk through with the fire marshal. Um, labor and industry also go through there. We'll create some uh, fairly basic plans that we can then use um, with uh, to apply for big grants. Um, this is the last time that this group will come to the select board asking for money. And you can put that in the minutes. You mean the ECC people? Yeah. Okay. This is the last time that these Callis yeah. store The Callis Historic Preservation yeah. Commission will be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
Yes, will we do that? that? Uh, trouble with the <laughs> will be back. Yeah. Um, what is ECC? East Calus East, East Calus Community Trust. Okay. It's a nonprofit, and the mission is to um, save the building. Save the building, <clears throat> and by that method, save the store. Um, if you any of you want to learn more about it, I can tell you later. So yeah. wait, yeah. So I'm sorry because yeah. I'm trying to look at this, which I'm well, concluding doesn't have anything to do with what we're it. It doesn't. That's about. the history of our CLG grants. Yeah. Okay. So our, what? for for the the first CLG grant we got for the town hall, for example, was an engineering study, and that was the basis for all the work that we did from then on. And that's kind of what we're going to do with this grant, except instead of asking the town for money, we're going to be asking fund lender, funders and lenders for money. Donators. Donators. So yeah. we, but we do need this basic engineering. So the study. idea is that the, re, the in order to file this grant, the town has to sign off yeah. on supporting it. The Correct. funding for the town's share, which some of it's in kind, mm -hmm. some of it's not historically, right? That's right. Um, mm -hmm. If there's any payout of funds, it would come out of the East Cal's Community Trust. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's so all right. literally the request is for us to support the yeah. effort. Yeah. It has Wahoo to sign on. Right, right, it. right. It's, it's just basically, yeah. it has to come because of the nature of the grant. It has yeah. to come, if you will, through a government. Mm -hmm. We are going, we will not undertake work when we don't have the money. Uh, right. To do the match, yeah. and uh, you know, so, so the town won't be on the hook. Right. Our fundraising goal is to have enough funds to purchase the building in um, end of April, beginning of May. And you said the grant is awarded in April. April. Yeah. And we've got a year and a half to. The timing is to, perfect. To yes. Perfect. Yep. Right. Yeah. So if and we don't. The, the the match potentially could be twelve thousand dollars. All the other grants that we've done as Historic Preservation Commission have had the great majority of the match met by in-kind labor. For example, the, that's why I passed this sheet around. Last year, the, the, the town was out $472. Right. <laughs> yeah. That was what we missed and we, in the match. Because we've spent so much time on the town hall for many years, one grant after another, that was a really a bit of an anomaly for commissions like ours, which have a general purview of what's good for the town in terms of historic preservation. What are the types of projects that we want to support that are going to make sure that an historic general store in East Callis can survive? Um, so those, that is, this is more typical of what we do rather than necessarily concerning ourselves with town-owned properties. Right. like the town hall. So because this was like an addition to the agenda, um, the goal here tonight is to see if the board will support it, um, and then it needs to be filed on the 17th. So, oh, somebody the would need, yeah. so somebody from the board will need to sign this document. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we are meeting on the 14th, and since this wasn't warned, does the board want to officially vote on this on, when we meet on Saturday? Mm -hmm. um, so that we can officially mm -hmm. warn it, which still gives enough time, and then they yep. could off the board get yeah. them, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't need to come back. Okay. Um, and then the board could authorize one of us to sign yeah. the grant application. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. procedurally. I think that's Good. the way we should do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. Do you guys have a consent agenda? Do you do that, or are you a just what? a consent agenda? No. What is that? Yeah, we have our agenda. Yeah, we have our own. No, but I don't. No. no, you don't do it. No. Okay. All right. What? Okay, we can talk about that. Oh, yeah, to his question. Yes, yeah. no. You can explain that to me later. She yeah. Checks yeah. In. <laughs> she checks in with us on each other. Yeah. That sounds great. Okay, can we not talk about this right now? That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And I'll, I'll you. report back to you on that. Sounds good. Thanks. On the 12th, it will be almost done. <laughs> Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'm still working on this slug nice board report for the town report. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank much. you. Sorry, guys. You're next. When I get up, I will give you one. I have one, too. Um, basically, we're. Do you know everybody? No. Um, maybe you guys went. Oh. You can see that maybe you guys could introduce yourself. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, do. I am Anne Marie. I'm proud. I'm Anne Marie. Okay. I'm Jim Clark. I, I think maybe we met a long time ago. Yeah, she used to, she I worked in the store. Yeah, okay. she works at And you're friends with Jennifer Whitman. I am. My friend. Yeah. There, that's it. 
Um, so basically, we're just here to um, get a, to see if you guys will approve a liquor license for us. It's not anything different than different than I didn't say where I was from, the Maple Corner store in the Whammy Bar. Um, it's not any different than the licenses that the owner, the previous owners have on hopefully on t this, sorry, next Tuesday. So a week from tomorrow, we're going to be closing on buying, purchasing the store. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, we're trying to have our licenses in place so that we can continue selling um, at that time. And my understanding is we give, um, there's a sheet on the the application for you guys to fill out. Mm -hmm. And I spoke with the um, licensing director of the, the, of the Vermont Department of Liquor and um, he said we can hand him the application after you guys approve it. No, and just a little backstory because if Artie and Nancy didn't renew everything because they knew this closing was coming up so they haven't been able to sell some of the spirits that they were selling oh. because licenses are not transferable. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was like a matter of weeks from when they needed to re, uh, re so they refile it. Right, that. they would have lost yeah. like 500 bucks, yeah. which mm -hmm. didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why we waited until now because you're doing the closing. Did you bring a check? Yeah. Okay. Right. For you guys. And I mean, I have a check right. for the Department of Liquor. Too. Right. But I think it's, I forget how much it is for the town. It's 185. It's um, 115 for the first class license and 70 for the second. Right. Because it's one, well, there's one liquor license for um, beer and wine and then another that you have to have if you're going to serve hard alcohol. Mm -hmm. Can we approve, what, what are the technicalities around approving tonight for the organ are we approving for the organization even mm -hmm. though you don't own anything to serve through? But they exist. That what, right. you exist as an organization. They exist as we an or they exist as an organization. Um, and I think we can put on there the effective date. Yeah. Okay. Would be the date of your closing, which is I thought it was the sixteenth. Is it the seventeenth? It's going to be the morning of the seventeenth. The morning yeah. of the seventeenth. So we can make it effective on the seventeenth. Yeah, and the town has to approve it before the state will. Right, and the state won't approve it until we are, um, are legal owners. Okay. So, and if we want to actually be able to sell alcohol right, you know, right when the changeover happens, then something has to happen before we actually right. own it. Yeah. Right, that makes yeah. sense. The chicken, the chicken, the chicken, I'm, I'm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve the class? What is it? Class. There's a first class, second class, and a third class license. That and that's what you're asking for. You're all, all three yep. classes. Effective um, December 17th. You should state the applicant in the motion. Yeah, I need to know who. It's the Maple Corner Community Store. Is the new name of the, the name of the corporation? New entity. Yeah. Maple is it, Corner. Is there an ink or a? It's incorporated. Yeah. Maple, Maple Corner, Corner Community LLC. Store Inc. LLC. No. no. Inc. 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 Who made the motion? I did. Oh. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any further discussion or questions? I mean, we've done these routinely, anyways, because everybody yeah. that does anything like this has to apply every. Year, I think, every April years? 30th, uh, yeah. every, every Are you going to have to do this again in April? We will, but it'll be a renewal rather than a, um, a, oh, okay. an application. I'm not 100%. I'm, yeah, you guys have to approve it every year mm -hmm. as far as right. I know. Yeah, yeah. we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the, the sheet that you guys fill out, and that is the check. Let's just keep this all together and yeah. we'll just give it all back to you. Well, I think so you're we gonna can it. you're gonna have to come back tomorrow so that Judy can give you a, a photocopy. It's totally fine. And I think that the full, if I remember right, I believe the full board. Yes, the full board has to sign this. So I'm gonna. We need to vote. Yes. All those in favor of approving this effective um, 
the month of what ones are we in? December seventeenth. Yeah. <laughs> Along with the CLG grant, we'll just make everything the seventeenth. Right. <laughs> Aye. 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 Okay. All good. Town of Callis. Vermont. Today is the 9th. And I will send this around for circulation. And if need be, um, do we want to say, I think we can say on here, effective 12, 17, 9. Or on yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to do by the Board of Control. Oh, I guess this is um, must be where they sign it. Judy signs it, so I will send this around. For the board to sign, and if you want to come back in or call Judy, I'll call maybe Judy she, in the morning. Yeah, maybe she can just scan it and email it to you. Okay, great. Thank and you. It does Thank say you. on there for you guys to mail it, but I, I asked if it was okay if we bring it because it's quicker, mm -hmm. and he great. said that was fine. So. Okay, so you'll coordinate with Judy. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks. Thank Congratulations you. again. Thank Goodbye. You. Thank you. Take care. All right. Um, Kellogg Hubbard Library. Yes. Mm -hmm. So does everyone remember Carolyn yeah, Brennan yeah. mm -hmm. from this okay. I remember if everybody was here or not. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Maybe you weren't clear. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Carolyn is one of the new new I'll still say since July one co directors of the library. I'm just going to let you take it away. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm a newbie at this, so forgive me if I <clears throat> do something wrong. Uh, so we're here to ask uh, to ask uh, to be put on the warning for town meeting. Uh, we are asking for the same amount of money that we requested the prior two years, uh, and that's twenty-seven thousand one hundred and thirty-two dollars. And um, so I sent out on Friday some copies of the one page report that ends up going in the town report, but I did bring extra copies if anybody needs one or would like one. And then I have this um, index of statistics, which has some general library statistics at the top and some Calis specific stats at the bottom. And so, and I sent that around as well. So I think everybody also got that, but I've got more copies of that yeah, as well. Yeah, I think it's in the form, right? Well, I see the cover email and looking for the document itself. Let's see. You know, I got an email Saturday from Richard Maisel, and he didn't intend to send it to me, and it said, I'll put these in the folder. Oh, yeah. I actually and didn't get my signal, too. Yeah. Oh. So I don't know what happened, but. <clears throat> he doesn't put stuff in our folder. No, he wouldn't be putting stuff oh. in our yeah, folder. Yeah, I didn't. Um, Katie has. Um, daughter, the daughter. Yeah, you know, the cover yes. emails here, but the document. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, regardless. Yeah. Um, so our statistics at the library in general uh, are. We had a really great year last Good. year. Yeah. We Good. we um, we topped three hundred thousand total circulations. We had th like three hundred and two thousand circulations, including uh, ebook and audiobook and online database use. So we are seeing that our number that goes up the most every year is digital downloads. Uh, and, and the great thing about those is you can access that material from any internet connected computer anywhere. So it's one of those services that the library can offer even when we're not actually open to the public. Do you get any monetary benefit from that anywhere? From having digital downloads? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it goes into our overall circulation statistics. So we, were, mm -hmm. you know, we report it back to you guys and to our member towns, and we report it to the <coughs> Department of Libraries. But we pay for that service. It's, um, it's um, part of um, the Green Mountain Library Consortium. So we, there's a, a group of libraries in Vermont that subscribe to this service because individually, for an individual library, downloadable content, digital content is generally it, it's anywhere from twice as expensive or ten times to ten times as expensive as its analog counterpart. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm. so for individual libraries, even one of our size, it becomes cost prohibitive really quickly mm -hmm. to have to have online content. So we subscribe to the Green Mountain Library Consortium, huh. and uh, last year we paid uh, we well we pay we pay based on on. Um, 
our library size, so our overall how many patrons that we have, active patrons, uh, and uh, and then we pay based on downloads. So it's a set it's a set number for our number of patrons, and it's ten cents per use. And so uh, it cost us I think fifty seven hundred dollars for that to subscribe to that service last year. Provided this Green Mountain. Yeah, that we provide to Green Mountain Library Consortium, and we just got the invoice for this year, and it was about a thousand dollars over that because our use went up from. 16,000 to 22,000 uses. Mm -hmm. wow. So what kinds of stuff can you download? What are you yeah. talking about? So it's ebooks and audiobooks for, for mobile devices. Uh, and um, so, and we've had this service for a decade now at this point. And it just, it's just one of those things that goes up exponentially every year. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a service where we're always looking to see what, <coughs> uh, where the turning point is for mm -hmm. digital resources and when we should uh, spend more of our budget on things like that and whatnot, but um, and it's free for members. It's free for members. So it's an alternative yeah. to buying a book on Kindle. Is what I'm hearing. That's exactly right. That's right. Yeah, that's precisely it. Yeah. So yeah, there's, it's too bad you don't. Yeah. You know, talk talk about that a little more. I know. Yeah, exactly. It's a neat story because it's a really the, great it, service. It <clears throat> is, and you know, the thing is, we have we have an awful lot of services that I couldn't possibly fit right in the but This is a really course. great one that I bet a lot of people. Or maybe aren't members, yep. don't know about, and they might become a member if they did. That's true. And uh, and one of the things that we are seeing, so I don't want I don't want to get super technical, uh, but I'm a uh, computers and the and systems and the technical aspects of the library are my uh, kind of first love. Mm -hmm. So I can get very computery very quickly. So <laughs> apologize me ever. I, I, I apologize if I do that, but. Um, what did I want to say about that? Oh, so with, with these digital downloads, one of the things that we did in, in our past year was we upgraded our cataloging system. So we went from a cataloging system that was called uh, Fall at Destiny, and it's primarily used for um, K through 12 school application, uh, applications. And we changed over to a company called Autographics Verso. And Autographics has a, it has a bunch of benefits to our patrons. It was a little bit of a, a bumpy road getting people adjusted to a new system because you have to create a new login and you log in differently and it looks different. And so you have to learn a new computer system. But it connects dynamically to our ebook and audiobook download service so that if a patron has a library card number but they haven't been into the library in five years, it, the, the systems can talk to each other and say, well, this person hasn't borrowed, their card's been expired for four years, and then they have to call us and they have to re-up their card. So it's so it's going to give us even more accurate patron numbers and patron mm -hmm. counts Good. than we've had right. previously because right. it it's it's and another- That's kind of always been a question, how many is there really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So and we've done a, we've done a lot of work on that in the in the past, well, since I've been there. So for the past three years. We've worked really hard on making sure that our patron counts are accurate by town, and uh, but this is another way that will bring some of the folks that were you maybe using some of these services but not coming into the library. Mm -hmm. They at least have to give us a call and say, "Hey, I still want to use my library card," and mm -hmm. we have to give them make sure that they re up it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, have to re up it. Yeah. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. um, we we got out into the communities a lot this summer. Um, I did mention that we marched in the Black Fly Parade. That was oh, did you? That was so much fun. <laughs> Isn't that great? I, I painted good my photos of it. yeah, we do have some good photos of it. I painted my wheelbarrow uh, gold and pink, and we all put on costumes and we filled the wheelbarrow full of giveaway books. And so oh, at the end cool. of the parade, we gave away children's books. Oh, great! What a whole, great thing to do. Yeah, it was wonderful, yeah. and uh, that was not my idea. I can't take credit for it, but I did get to participate. It was our outreach coordinator's idea. Yeah, great. so. We're always looking for other ways that we can get out and be um, active in the community. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Great. So. And we're and the price isn't going up, which is even better. The price isn't going up. Yeah. We uh, we changed our administrative model this year, as mm -hmm. as, as you know, with Tom's retirement, mm -hmm. and so that it, because we didn't hire another top executive at the library, instead we hired staff level positions, and mm -hmm. we and we moved work around and. Mm -hmm. um, Change some people's job descriptions a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, but that's a, like that's one so of the things. Internal reorganization. We did, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think what you yeah. say there was one person whose job didn't change. That's right. So we have 16 full and part-time staff members at the library, and 15 of us were either doing new work or had a job title change or job description change. 
Great. Doesn't so, that feel good, though? You know, it really does. And that's the thing is, all of this has been, <clears throat> it, there's it, there's been a lot of change to manage, mm -hmm. but it's all really positive. Mm -hmm. We have right, professionals. If you do it the right way, it can that's be exactly rewarding. Right. Exactly. A rewarding. Exactly. If you do it the wrong, if you do it yeah. the wrong yeah. way, it's really awful. Yeah. Carolyn and Jesse sat down with every staff member and said, this is what we're thinking. What do yeah. you think? And what yeah. ideas do you have? And yeah. you know, without exception, the staff was uh, behind yeah. all these Good. changes. Great. So everybody's happy. Everybody's ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's been really exciting. It's yeah. busy. Like it. It's all get out, but it's been. Wonderful. Tom's doing well. Tom's doing well. We just I just saw him on Saturday. We had yeah. our <clears throat> annual gala fundraiser mm -hmm. uh, evening at the library. And so Tom attended that. Oh, it great. was six months to the day since his last day of work. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. And, I, and I said, how's your six month, first six months of retirement then? And, <laughs> second retirement. Yeah, second, second retirement, that's second. exactly right, yeah. 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 And he said it was wonderful. He traveled to Italy, he's been spending time with his grandkids and his great. parents that live down in Connecticut, so he's having a blast. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. good. Yep. I, just, uh, I was thinking as you asked about him, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't say, at least one last time or one more time uh, things turned around so much once tom took yes, over they as director. Did. yeah and uh, i came on the board right uh, when he started as interim director right. and i always felt really lucky that i had a clean slate you know yeah. things were not so good at the library for a long time right and it had to do with the previous administrator and tom was just so on top of so many different aspects of the library's management and structure and and I felt and like I always PR. felt like whatever he told us, I believed him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was pretty That's true. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it, and that was really important. And, and yep. these two are just poised to continue and expand on so much of that. It's, yeah. it's really it's a great time to be there. Well, we thank you for your time and thank yeah. you for your work. Yeah. And thank you. I do think you should put out more about this. Digital stuff, yeah, digital download. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything that, just about everything we offer is on our website, mm -hmm. and that's another thing that's new. We rebuilt it about a year ago, oh. more than a year ago. Great. Yeah, we've been, and we've got all kinds of plans for, for next year. I bet you well, do. So. Very good. Yeah. So, so put, you know, think about maybe not this town meeting, but the next town meeting. We, we're now at Cal's Elementary School. We have a, a greater capability to do called projections yeah, or, or right. presentations you guys could do a quick walkthrough on how this yeah. new that, program right. works am i yeah. allowed to do that at town we could today? invite you could we, ask we and could, we could invite we you could and invite you to do it yeah sure i'd love to give a presentation yeah. Why, yeah. why you could do it yeah we could put it under this agenda we could put it on we could put it on this year if you want if i don't you have know time to do that i don't know where i mean i don't know what part of the meeting we would do it at maybe we would do it um during lunch yeah, I was going to say there. Yeah, been, people could get their lunch. People like could that. get their lunch and mm -hmm. go and sit and watch the presentation. We we'll, we'll when we discuss this budget item, um, might be a good opportunity. Yeah, two to or three minutes. Really quick. I mean, we let our state reps and senators come right. in all of a sudden. Oh, here we are. Well, it's, yeah. we put everything on hold and. Your, right. your town meeting is actually on town meeting day. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. At the Cal oh, yeah. School. Yeah. Elementary yeah. School. That would be um, great. Craig, Craig's always so, there. Yeah, I, always I need so, that education. Yeah. Whether you would <laughs> rather do it at lunchtime, so you might have a little bit longer, if, Q &A. you know, Q and A. But you could give the update, mm -hmm. you know, at town meeting, you yeah. know, when we're discussing the article. Yeah, you could that. say there would be this presentation at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on, on if you think it's realistic. Well, that's because because we're also we're in all the other towns in right. Montpelier, you know, yeah, and so people are up front of City Hall in Montpelier just yeah. urging support. That's and, true too. So, yeah. right. So, see, so well, if there was something on a website or on YouTube yeah. that you downloaded, then you know we're, we're good we enough. We can pull up it YouTube. Yeah, yeah, right. Let me, let me right. think about what that would look like, and yeah. before I overcommit myself, let me make sure I don't have to be in about four places at once. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 And yeah, yeah. but I, that's, that's, that's wonderful, and I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And I think it would open up, you know, people's eyes a little bit more to it's not just the library. Oh yeah, no, we, we you know? do so many, so many other things. Right. Yeah. And Orca could video it for you. <clears throat> that's true. I'm offering them right well, up. Orca will, yeah. Orca will be true. there video you videoing our yes, town meeting. Jerome, well, Jerome is in our pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Orca does most yeah, of our programs anyway. Yeah. Well, they definitely handle it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, 
if we made a, a video of that, it could go to all of the towns That's simultaneously. Yeah. Ooh, right. On That's, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. Stick it on YouTube. Send the link. See, you come to Cal's and we find more work for you. That's all right. Hey, I want to say IT work. We are always looking for other ways to reach out. Mm -hmm. yeah. If any of you or other people have ideas for programs in town or anything like that, mm -hmm. we definitely want to hear it. And our outgoing uh, board president, Steve Gold, is always saying we've got to do more. We've got mm -hmm. to do more for the towns. Yeah. And so people don't even really have to think about, hmm, am I going to vote for this? It's like, well, of course I'm going to vote for this, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we are close to that in excellent most of all the towns yeah, but say Cal's always supportive. yeah I there's know. some there's a few questions here and there, yeah but yeah. it always passes and, and i'd love to quote a certain resident who su suggested that really why do we need that all we need is siri we have siri mm -hmm. and why do we need a library right people are like hmm, hmm. anyway hmm. his name shall remain be nameless nameless <laughs> dr lee infamous <laughs> he doesn't know what siri is um <laughs> i don't know what siri I, and also, I'll just mention quickly, I mentioned Steve Gold is outgoing. I am also outgoing as vice president because we have term limits for officers. So I've been vice president for four years, so I'll be stepping back from that role. But I will be re-upping on the board for one more three-year term. We have a nine-year maximum tenure on the board. So That's great. start thinking about who wants to take my place in three years. Okay. Well, Probably thank you for your service. Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's totally enjoyable. It truly is. Is there yeah. anything else you guys need for me? No, we're all set. Thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah. Thank, thank you for you. your time. Yeah. Thank you for the roads are slick, so be very careful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Isn't it? Um, Digital I, downloads. Yeah. Yeah. Woodbury Fire Department. <laughs> Okay, Chance, so I'm going to give you a little grief right out of the gate. I heard you tore the store down. You are working on it. It's like a staff down. Yeah. You didn't send me anything ahead of time. I wasn't sure you were coming. Yes, I've been fixing things. We, we, got, we got the budget approved by the department, but I had to go through and fix uh, the spreadsheet. It got a little tweaked by a couple of people. Okay. Um, Thank you. It, it, was, it was producing very... Uh, Odd numbers. Oh, oh, you can't have that. No, it was just the percentages that were off. The numbers were still right, but the percentages weren't looking right. Thank you, Thank you. And what about the contracts? The contracts have to get renewed again? That gets renewed every year. Okay, because there's the thing in the contract that when we do it this time, we need to change the timing of a payment. Yeah, we can only do that with one town, and you guys are going to be the town because the town of Woodbury actually gives permission to the select board to borrow money to pay for those types of things. Oh, okay. You guys don't, so you guys win. Um, you know, <laughs> right, because we had that issue this year with the timing of the yep. time the amount of the money was due and yep. the tax collection and all that. So yep. that's not tonight. This is just budget tonight. Yeah, this is just budget. Yep. Um, and then uh, once we, uh, we deal with that, we sign the contract. When do we sign the contract? It's in what? It's, it's after town meeting day. Does it begin July 1st? Yes. The bonus. Yes. Well, that's on our agenda. Fiscal year, July 1 to June 30th? Yeah, I, we, we sign it right after town meeting. Right. Once we have the approval, then we, we sign the right. contract. Right. And I didn't notice that in no. the contract, or because it did cause a little bit of heartburn on both sides. But we figured it out. We figured it out. Yep. We generally do. I yeah, yeah, for the most part. So, so, my, so the bottom line is the 2021 budget is a little less than yep. last year's budget. Why is that? Well, it's essentially maintenance costs on trucks. We're not spending as much to fix trucks because we're buying newer trucks. Uh, oh. So, you know, once again, that was one of the benefits of, of looking into buying newer trucks was we could stop dumping all this money into fixing the ones mm -hmm. to try to keep them on the road. Mm -hmm. Right, um, so it's going from 12, 6, Eight. Oh, 650 for truck maintenance to eight. Mm -hmm. But you're not asking for a new truck right now, right? Nope. Uh, well, we we got the approval from both towns to do the capital replacement plans, mm -hmm. which we've started doing, and we found another truck to purchase. 
uh, to replace the two really old ones that were on that spreadsheet that I brought last year. Mm -hmm. um, and that one cost uh, 245 for a, a rescue bumper, so we got uh, about a $400,000 truck for 245. Mm -hmm. um, so we're working on, you know, almost free. Well, it really is almost free, you know, for, for a fire truck anyway. Nice yeah. on. <laughs> well, you know, when, when you said, the red paint. <laughs> well, and that's the funny thing. It was a white truck, and I went, oh, we can't buy a white truck. On the it's gonna look like now. a snowbank. I mean, you know, like, <laughs> you can't have a snowbank moving down the road. No, um, but this truck was completely outfitted. It had all the drawers and trays and everything else. You know, just like our old, the the last one we bought. Mm -hmm. You know, we bought a demo model. Yeah. Um, it saved us a ton of money, but yeah. it's getting us all the new stuff and, uh, mm -hmm. and nice trucks and. It's gonna, you know, continue to show in the maintenance lines because we, we bought that uh, Rosenbauer, yeah. and then we bought the pickup, and now we're buying this. So hopefully we'll keep whittling that maintenance fee right out of here. Hopefully. Right. Um, but so yeah, we we were looking at, uh, you know, it went down uh, overall 0.7 percent. Uh, of course, you got the uh, insurance and air packs and things that we just can't get rid of. Uh, those were the biggest changes um one was 239 dollars because last year we only budgeted 117 dollars so it looks like 239 percent increase in a line item but it was really 300 dollars oh the air pack? yes oh, okay. yeah <laughs> yeah um other than that the biggest the biggest change is just insurance and that dispatching which we have no way to deal with no, we have the same problem in East Lone. Yep. EMF. It's, we, and it's just crazy how they, much. They tell us how much, and up. that's what it is. Yep. And you have no say so. Nope. No input, no nothing. Nope. It's so frustrating, that whole dispatch thing. I know it's <laughs> it's so mandatory. I mean, you, you need it, you got to have it, but it's like they've got you. Yeah. Well, and that's it. Without it, we're never going to get to any of these calls. So, right. can you leave me an extra copy of this? Of course. And give it to, um, yeah, I've got a couple. Our treasurer. You can have three or four of them. I'll pass that down. Thank you. Um, so, the the one question we had at town meeting last year uh, from the new lady that had just moved into town was why the percentages were different. Um, the, uh, she wanted to know. She 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 came right out. She said, "I don't know why I'm new here, but." I notice, and I'll use these numbers as an example, it's a 0.7% decrease, and Callis is having a 3.8 increase, mm -hmm. and Woodbury is a negative 2.8. Why is that? And I explained to her that this was that three-year average thing that started oh, oh. 20 years ago, whatever it was. Right. I keep my eye on that every year, hoping someday we're going to get it so close that we can get rid of that three-year average. Mm -hmm. But we're not quite there. I checked it this year, and if we went and get rid of the three-year average and when we do that is just doing a straight third of the budget, it would be an increase of 7.8% uh, and $35,196.73. So we're not at that point where we can get rid of that ridiculous uh, average thing. So unfortunately, I'm going to keep looking at it every year and hopefully one of these years it's just going to be a nice smooth and we'll be done with it. And then everybody will see a 0.7 negative increase. Um, nice. or, or whatever the increase or decrease is, mm -hmm. you know, so it's a little easier to explain and understand. Right, right. Uh, I'm all about transparency, and that just fogs things up. Uh, I understand why they did it all those years ago, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Um, moving forward. So I'll keep looking at it. Okay. But, so that's what we're looking at. Uh, the total budget uh, for Callus would be $33,908.35. Plus the truck fund of seventeen eight fifty and the capital Where replacement of thirty one thousand. Those are down at the bottom. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So it's not any different than last year. As far as. Um. Yeah, because we got that three point eight percent thing again for twenty twenty one up at the top operating. Yeah, that's a percent. That's the percent higher increase from this last year. year. Yeah, from last year. Right. I mean, the overall budget went down by roughly ten thousand dollars, but our share of anything didn't go down. It went down two thousand dollars. Well. Where? Twelve hundred. One hundred sixteen thousand dollars was last year's budget. One hundred sixteen thousand, and then right next to that is one hundred fifteen, which is this year's proposed budget. 
Where is the callus portion? Callus get to enjoy some of that. That's at the top. Yeah, at the top. So we didn't. Our um, our, the amount that we have to contribute went up. Right, but it's just a little bit. No, No, it's it's not. This is this is what I keep talking about. You guys have been on the losing side for the last four years. Before that, it was Woodbury who was always seeing the increase, and you guys were always seeing the minus. Right, right. And that's why this is such a sore subject every year. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Of course, it comes up in Woodbury when they're on the losing side. And, and they ask the same question. How, that's gonna, how you're going to stop that from happening? Well, I'm hoping at some point here, because when I figured out a third of the budget, which is the 115 minus that ten thousand dollars, so it's 105 thousand is yeah, our wait, actual budget. The, okay, the ten thousand being the fundraising. Right, 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 because nobody pays for that. That's other income we have. Mm-hmm. So the the budget being proposed is 105 thousand dollars, five hundred ninety. And 19 cents. So when you divide that into two thirds and one third, your one third would be thirty five thousand one hundred ninety six dollars and seventy three cents. Mm-hmm. That's an even bigger increase than what we're doing mm-hmm. with the three year right. average. I'm hoping but we're then doing. How much is Woodbury's out of that amount that you just rattled off? Seventy one thousand six hundred eighty one dollars and eighty four cents is theirs. They're still paying their two thirds. We've but only got up by thirteen hundred dollars. Right. Right. Less than that. The problem is, is that three-year average, you guys are still on the losing side of that mm-hmm. three-year average. I'm hoping in the next year or two, it's going to get closer to zero, zero for everybody, and we can just get rid of that. Yeah, and that then nice. then when we have a 0.7 negative percent increase, uh, decrease, everybody will see a 0.7 negative right. percent right. decrease. Right. decrease. You know? Instead of having to have the same conversation every year, yeah. it, it decides which, yeah. which end of the town I have to have That's it on, right. Woodbury or here. Right. Uh, and I keep having the same conversation. <laughs> and you'll be having it again? Uh, I'll you? be having it again, sure. and uh, hopefully, like I said, another year or two, we'll get you guys close to, so it'll be an even flush, you know, moving over, and then we'll get rid of this thing and be done with it. Uh, and again, it just adds to that transparency. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's good business. Yeah. Um, and this is all over some grant somebody got 20-something years ago. Right. Um, and it's still, it's still haunting us now. It's still haunting us now. It, it probably sounded like a great idea at the time, I'm sure. But right. Yeah. So that's it. That's the whole budget. Okay. A lot easier than last year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So the follow-up question is, do you guys want us presenting three different articles? Or are you guys going to put it into your budget the way you did the year before? How do you guys want to do this? I think last this? year we put, we put the regular budget in last year, but yep. we se- warned a separate article because of the capital equipment fund getting it started off. So I think, right. I mean, it's a, it's a board decision. We're going to meet on Saturday, so um, we can decide then. Just let me know what you guys want to do. and Yeah, because yeah, I've got, uh, Paul's working on the report, which obviously the year's not done yet. Right. Um, but as soon as that's done, mm-hmm. um, then I will uh, put that together with the budget. And however you guys decide, if you guys decide you want articles, then I'll write up the articles for it. And so that the big blip was last year, and that was a one-time thing. No, that happens every year. No, the big the blip was the creation of the capital fund. Right. What you're talking about, the thirty-one thousand. Right. That was the first year, so that's the blip you're talking about, right? Right. It was, but it's an ongoing. Carry over. It's an ongoing item that they would like to continue to have funding for, so we don't run into okay, we need to put an article on the warning. For you know, a hundred thousand dollars for our share of a new truck. I right. see. So that's so. So it's you're asking for. I'm sorry. I'm obviously a little slow on the uptake. So you're asking for thirty-three thousand nine hundred and eight dollars and thirty-five cents for operating, right. and thirty-one thousand for the capital. So we're the thirty-one and the truck replacement fund. And seventeen eight fifty for the truck. The truck fund. Right here. This is something we've been doing for a while. The okay. So it's all free. And right. So it's all. Right. So what you're saying is, we last year put in the seventeen eight fifty, and the operating amount into our budget, but because it was the first year of creation of the capital fund, we put it on a warning. So now we, the board, needs to decide whether it's going to keep putting it on as a warrant item or put it into the budget. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And so you guys just we, let me know. Right. And I guess I would want to go back and make sure, see how we worded that warning to see if it prevents us from putting it into the budget. Okay. So we'll we'll take care of looking at that. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Anything on, else you on, want to give us an update on? On a side note, um, I've uh, 
I've changed jobs a couple times down at the state, but uh, the biggest, recent most thing, um, I've been getting signed off as uh, instructor for a lot of different programs like ALICE, yeah. which is a hostile intruder, active shooter training. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm certified instructor for ALICE, I'm a certified instructor for Stop the Bleed, which is a big national movement. Um, I'm also a CPR instructor now. Mm -hmm. So if, if the town or something would like, mm -hmm. let me know, reach out to me, there was and we can try to set something up. There was something that you mentioned at one of our building committee meetings that Woodbury does, fire department does, that I didn't realize. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> no, it was a good thing. And I was, I was just like, wow, I didn't know you guys did that. It wasn't the water rescue thing, although that gets used a lot more, that boat gets used a lot more than I think what people realize. Oh, yeah. Way more than I realized. But there was something else you were saying that you guys do. Oh, you're going to be... Um, First not, response? Yeah. Yep. Paul, Paul, Arlene, Tim, and myself are working on completing that license. We've got... Uh, we now have six EMTs. Tim and my uh, Tim is an EMR. James Daly is an EMR, and then myself, Paul, Arlene, Jacob, Caleb, and my daughter Olivia all went through and got our EMT licenses. Which is more EMT or EMT? EMT is higher. EMT is higher. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we have eight medical staff now on our fire department as well, and we're actually working on getting our District Six license because right now we are District Four because of Hardwick Rescue, but. Washington County is District 6. So, so does that mean you could coordinate more with EMS? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the plan. Um, I thought you couldn't cross over. Oh, no, because you won't be crossing over county lines or correct. whatever that whole thing is. <laughs> right. Because Woodbury is part of District 6, we can serve District 6 once our that license is approved. That would be good to put in our notes because we're meeting with... We're... we're yeah. Mm. You're gonna be meeting with the other guys soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then that's it. You know, I mean, I mean, obviously, if we if we respond to a car accident on Route 14, and there's somebody hurt, uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna treat them regardless of the district right, because right. I, have, I have an because obligation to care. Right. So how does that uh, work then? If a call, a 911 call goes in, somebody's requesting an ambulance. Blah blah blah. Will we both yep. Woodbury and East Montpelier hear the same call? Yep. We'll both so get how, told so I guess the question is then how will you coordinate? You don't need maybe both departments showing up. Well they they're so gonna they're gonna coordinate? show up because they're an ambulance. We don't have right. an ambulance. But we may get on scene, they may have already gotten there and they're gonna say we don't need there, anybody. Or, you may get or there first. we may get there first and start whatever and start care until the ambulance gets there. Exactly. And that's what we do with Hardwick Rescue as well for hard, yeah. you know, for And then ambulance. how does that get billed? Uh, for us? Do you bill insurance? EMTs don't get billed. No. We don't we don't bill. We're a volunteer fire rescue. You no, know, but you know how yeah, East Bank players always putting in that's that's the ambulance. That's, 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 that's the ambulance, ambulance. ambulance. Okay, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yep. That's the ambulance side. And so we don't, we're not, we don't have an ambulance. So. You right. guys have the Jaws of Life, whatever they call yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things I didn't know you had. Yeah, we have, uh, we have uh, two hydraulic and one battery operated. We're looking at switching over to all battery operated as we consolidate our fleet down. We, mm -hmm. you know, space becomes a premium. Mm -hmm. And those big hydraulic generators and hoses and everything else yeah. take up a lot of space. Yeah. And we, uh, we broke our Jaws at a training uh, well, and actually, the uh, like the stove, yes. the stove guys were trying to cut something at a training, and it blew the piston right off it. Um, insurance covered it, you know, they paid for it, wow. um, but they would only pay for a like object. Well, you can't find twenty five year old jobs, <laughs> so they they said, well, this is going to be a like object because you need you need to have jaws. So. They paid for the battery operated oh, jaws to replace great. that. So we've got the battery operated cutter, but we don't have the battery operated spreader mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. rim. So we're working on that too through fundraisers, trying to get those all replaced so we can get that completely. So yeah, we're 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 definitely an all hazards yep. uh, response. We just yep. uh, if anybody watches our Facebook, we just had a horse rescue. On a uh, lake again? Or? No, this one was up on a mountain. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. 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 I did see that. The horse had been up there for three days. And yeah. They paid a drone company to come in, and mm -hmm. fortunately for them, the, the horse was wearing that big orange blanket. So they picked right up where he was, and we cut our way up and yeah, walked the horse down. So. Unbelievable. Uh, getting back to what you were saying about trying to 
get this all straight in your mind. If you go back to the days before the East Montpelier Fire Department had mm -hmm. an ambulance service, when the tone went out, it said Barrytown Ambulance and East Montpelier Fast Squad. Yeah, right. Please oh. respond to such and such. But, but no, but I'm saying that, but that's how you could think of it, that's is that the out. ambulance would come from East Montpelier, mm -hmm. but they would come like as a fast squad yes, yeah, without yeah, right. an ambulance service. Mm -hmm. So just yeah. a medical call, it would just be fast squad. Right, right. right. Yep. So, so right. hopefully we'll be oh, adding that service yeah. real soon for yeah. all of this. Well, you guys areas. have been working yeah. hard. We're you working mean the district? The license. The, yeah, the license six. is the... Yeah, all the yeah. paperwork stuff. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. And hopefully we're going to be able to be firefighters and EMTs again at some point here. Right. <laughs> all this right. paperwork. And, me. Or, or, and then the building committee is continuing to meet. Yeah, well, um, we took we took the holiday season off until January. Right. So, so we're not doing can, anything for this town meeting? Nope. No, nope. um, my, my intention is to uh, really start pushing some of this fundraising for, for the corporations and, and larger donation type items. Yeah. Um, we do have, you know, bricks that we're going to sell, people who want to buy bricks for like a memorial park around the flagpole or whatever. You know, if you want to buy one for your dad or your mom or yourself, whatever, we are going to do that eventually as mm -hmm. well. But starting out... Uh, and they're trying to keep the budget Norm. to a to a more reasonable. Amount. Oh, it's well, it's definitely more reasonable than the last time anybody right. heard about a fire station in Woodbury because the last yeah. one was three point <laughs> six or three point seven million. Yeah. This one is even coughed on that. Um, this this one's about one point one. And this one will be in the downtown. It'll be right in the downtown, right beside that I store that they're working down. Well, that's where it's at right now. Hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, once we get. We've gotten a few other numbers that have kind of dropped it down because it was up to 1.3. Oh, I know. After all those numbers came in, um, so we've been working on finding some closer to the truth yeah. numbers, really solid numbers on the different materials, and we're sitting about 1.2 right now. Um, I think we're going to be able to probably get it down to at least 1.1 once we finish looking at all the mm -hmm. numbers, and then then it's going to be a serious plug for. We're working on a, a, a fundraising letter to send out to the you know the bigger corporations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, see what we can pull in, get that number. And I gotta say, better. as part of the building committee, working with you guys is very is is very good. Thank I you. really appreciate the atmosphere. Well, you know, we all have to work together. Yeah. Uh, yep. Works a lot easier that way. <laughs> right. And everybody hopefully gets what they need. Well, that's it. You know, it's it's not about wants anymore. It's really about needs. And that's yeah. what we've been discussing with Denise and the rest of the committee. We did invite a few members from Callis, mm -hmm. uh, one select board member and a, and a member and the community. And then same from Woodbury, we asked right. for a select board member and then a member of the community. And Barry's come to some of the meetings with me, but he's out of town a lot. So. Yeah, he's out of town a lot. Yeah. Um, but he, he's, he's been pretty valuable yeah, when he, he is there. And he, even he's... outside, he still sends emails that yeah. are pretty productive. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's, he's been helpful. a great add to the to the system, so it's nice. All right, anything else from the board? Any questions? Huge thank you and shout out to all the great work you guys do. We thank really you. appreciate it. We're there every Tuesday night. Come on over. <laughs> I keep writing to these. If we're not, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can, another meeting. Well, you know. It's and happy meeting. holidays to all oh, of you. Thank you, and to you yeah, guys thanks. as well. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Stay, try to stay thanks. in trouble. <clears throat> okay. If you need anything, just shoot me an email. Thanks for Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good night. Okay. David Healy, how are you? Good evening. Well, pretty good. Good. I don't think I've been here in a while. Has it been a while? I don't think so. But anyway, you know, I have been busy. We know how much everybody loves to come and talk to the select board. No, you know, I, I, I should be doing more just to publicize the efforts that are ongoing. But we started this thing from town meeting 18, and the mm -hmm. first meeting was in May of 18. And I have to tell you, the, um, for some reason, about a third of the towns didn't reappoint the same person the second year, which really made it... Oh, that makes it hard. That because we had a lot hard. of presentations, mm -hmm. and so the same questions get asked. Was it right. due to disinterest by the ah, prior appointees? Um, different interests? I don't know. I mean, the city of Barry changed, the Barry mm -hmm. town changed, uh, Northfield changed. Roxbury dropped in and dropped out. Yeah, still and sometimes, dropped. you know, some consistency and some oh, it really makes a is really huge difference. Mm -hmm. The good news, I mean, the the well, to start with, I am the co-chair of the business development committee, so I've been pretty active in 
So between the one meeting a month on the, um, the five board itself, the business development committee has been meeting at least another one or two meetings a month mm -hmm. because we're trying to get money. And um, so in any event, the town of Moortown voted, I guess, last week or two weeks ago to join the district. Oh, you're still in backing up. That's a good thing. Oh, that's. Yes. I, well, well, I have oh, two. Okay. I'm, I'm of two opinions. That's my guess. Yeah, I just slid back in my chair. And <laughs> <laughs> well, the roads are pretty bad right now. Are they? Yeah, I mean the, the hill is solid ice. Yeah. Oh. I hope I can get back up it. But so anyway, they. I have of two opinions about the size of the district. I mean, it's, it's the larger it is, the longer it's going to take to build it out. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Who gets first? Who that's gets first? Exactly. It's going to be a oh, pretty yeah. interesting thing. First in, first get built out. Yeah, well, so in, in any event, the Business Development Committee has been pretty adamant about, let's look at it realistically, because we have to borrow money and pay it back. So we better mm -hmm. be building out where we have a good take rate and a... Mm -hmm. Right, right. And so that's, so the money we've raised this year, we've got a think Vermont grant for 12500 which we had to match one-to-one. -one. We got a... Um, I mean, rural development. Yeah, you we have to come to, up. You have to come up with the money or 12500 you, you can't do in kind? On that one, no. That one had no. to be cash. So we're still fundraising There's for that. There's money passed by an H-153. Yeah, I'll get, I'll oh. get through that okay. in a minute. Right. So then we applied for a rural development planning grant, yeah, which was $25,000, which has a match that's going to be in kind. Uh, that, you know, there'll be some cash, but it'll be mm -hmm. in kind too. But that had to be matched one to one too. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to probably do some cash and some, mostly me. In kind. Yeah, and I'm charging my billing rate. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the in kind. Yeah, as you should. Um, and then the last one is our, we, or mostly myself, wrote the grant application for the um, rural development. The no, the broadband innovation grant. Oh. This is the state legislation, and which. I was really happy to be passed. I mean, there's a lot of people that put a lot of time in the legislature to get that thing through, including the folks in EC Fiber, um, the people yeah, down in southern Vermont, which are really feeling put upon in terms of having no service in the mountain area. So they passed this bill where they were going to give out so much money, but the Public Service Department decided to only give out three grants this round. And we got one of them for that's sixty thousand. And that's the one I heard of on the news. Right. So that just that happened great, this month. That was great because now we have enough money to actually um, get the consultant in and do the amount of work that needs mm. to be done. So wow. we put our RFP on November third. We got eight proposals in last week. Wow. Um, that's a I lot. just finished reviewing all eight of them this morning, and um, I th I'm sure there's going to be some consternation in the in the group to pick one of them. Two of them, I mean, what was a really great proposal was 200,000 um, bucks. I think we can do it between 60 and 100,000. Will there be any consensus in the board? Probably not. One of the issues that we have, and I am not a big fan of this, is actually just letting ValleyNet. And wait, um, what's, what's, the, what, what's the request in the RFP? To do a feasibility study yeah. first, and then from the fee, this is because of the legislation, the, the, leg the way the legislation's worded, and I ought to be able to borrow money from VITA, which they've authorized up to $4 million, three point, I forget what the final number, $4 million. You have to show that it's, it's feasible. So that's why it's split into two. So the second part of the project is a business plan to actually go out and do it. Mm -hmm. And that business plan, if the Public Service Department approves it, is good enough to go to VITA to get money. So what $4 million would do would allow us to build out the first 120 miles. And we're hoping the feasibility study shows us where should that 120 miles be mm -hmm. so that we can pay and back the bigger that, loan. And that's in the whole entire The 17 country. towns. Right. Most likely it'll be a, 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 either one whole town or a consolidated area. And if I looked mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. sort of the response rate on the survey that we've put out that I've pretty much managed to, um, for some reason, the town of Middlesex, 21% filled in that survey right away of the residents, which yeah. I thought was huge. Callus is at about 10%, Jeez. which is still a pretty good turnout. I mean, in my opinion, just from an email from you and my posting in Front Porch Forum, it's not bad. But for some reason, Worcester and Middlesex, like both of them are in the 20s, you know, near the 20%. I guess we're not desperate enough. I, that's what I'm saying. You know, is it, but I was going to, in terms of the survey, in terms of callus, I ran the numbers today on the 90, 
four people who filled it in, mm -hmm. and I think there's like 680 households mm -hmm. in Kells. Yep. Um, the majority of them do have internet. Now, right. granted, Front Porch Forum is on the internet, so right. it's, right. it's out of tire, but the reason it is, it's almost all of them are unconsolidated. There's very there's less than 10% on, on Comcast. Yep. And nobody filled out the survey from Charter, and I thought Charter was in East Callis. Uh, they could be. I don't really know. Yeah, they, I no. think they are. But, but nobody filled out the survey on Charter, so that's pretty mm -hmm. funny. I mean, I don't know why. But in any event, the reason that we have, we have a high use, internet usage, but crappy service. Right. right. I mean, consolidated is what the town uses. Right. Yeah. And so, um, there's, so there's a good interest in that. The other answer that came out in Callis that I thought was pretty good, um, 42 44, 45% said they would definitely subscribe if, we, if they had it. Mm -hmm. uh, probably would was another 42%. So in looking at what they're going to look at in this feasibility study is what's the take rate proposed in Calus? Right. So you know and, how much income you might get. Correct. So that's going to drive a lot of things. So the higher that number is in each town, I think will be a factor in terms of who goes first. Mm -hmm. The other good news, um, in my opinion, and we've been working pretty hard with, with Washington Electric Co-op mm -hmm. to partner with them in whatever they yep. end up doing. Right. And right. you so probably haven't heard sense. this, but uh, WEC is about to sign an agreement with Velco, the Vermont Electric Power Group, which has fiber going to most of the substations in Vermont. Oh, really? They don't have it going to Maple Corner. Okay. And they, um, they just... That's a Velco substation? No, it's a WEC substation. So right. what, what Velco is trying to do is make sure it's managing all the loads. Oh, uh, right. And right. know when something Bouncing. goes out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a whole. It's a pretty nice concept. Uh, and so Vel, um, Washington Electric has got a plan over the next two years of connecting the unconnected uh, WEC substations to the Velco fiber, which is would be Maple Corner. Which is Maple Corner, and then the, there's one in North Montpelier too. Okay. So I mean, which is pretty close to Calus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, if that happened, then we have an access point to fiber, which would reduce, would be having to pay, you know, subscribe, you know, pay some sort of fee to Velcro to use it. But right now, we don't even have that fiber network. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing that makes Central Vermont difficult. There's no state fiber in Central Vermont. Mm -hmm. It went to the Northeast Kingdom and down by White River Junction and Randolph. Oh, right. So, so we're, the, 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 the state, state fiber way. actually ends in hard work. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, and it was an economic development thing that mm -hmm. they did that. So my, I'm, I'm sort of encouraged by things that are going, but it's certainly not fast. I mean, people expecting you know, high-speed mm -hmm. internet in the next... You know, for Catalyst, I'd say it's five years, um, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's going to be some shuffle. Who knows? I mean, mm -hmm. if, somebody said, if somebody was to dump a lot of money into Catalyst and say, listen, if you bring it to Catalyst first, I'll do it. So that was the other thing. The number of people who said they were either pre-subscribing Callus was really high. It was um, um, <coughs> almost 50% of the people who fill out the survey in Callus said they'd pre-subscribe. And mm -hmm. then the way the question was, where would you pre-subscribe for two years? Which is a chunk of change. Yeah. Um, right. Well, it's an income. And then 12% said they'd loan money to the district. And 7% said they'd gift money to the district. So we're doing a fundraising letter now to the people who said they would give gifts. There, would give gifts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we're busy. It's the giving season, right? Right. 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 Yeah. The other part is we meet, you know, every second Tuesday of the month, mm -hmm. a public meeting. Uh, and does Jared go to all those meetings? Jared goes to probably half of them, and he okay. goes to the ones I can't go to. Right. right. Good. So he's, he's active. Like, He's very active, and he's also on the business development committee. Right, good. And he's the one that's done the website. <laughs> so Callus has contributed quite a bit to this let's organization. Not forget, let's not forget that. So, <clears throat> which is really good. Um, we have, oh, yeah, he's put up the website, the minutes, and now we haven't had, we've had a really hard time with minutes mm. because the clerk resigned who was doing the minutes, and I haven't seen minutes for our meetings in the last four months. So which is really bad. Yeah, so, it is bad. Um, the minute the agendas get posted anyway, and they get noticed. Mm -hmm. um, Do you, you know, post them on the front porch form, your agendas? 
No, but I think I should Maybe be doing should. that. Yeah, yeah. I think a little bit double duty there. Well, because people might really start paying attention, attention to, this, to it. Yeah, just this, this is going on. Yeah. You know, I think people they don't see something. They don't. They don't. It's right. like CV Piper for now. Let me see what was that. They, 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 they but if you there. post it on Front Porch Forum, even if they don't go, it's, it's there still every once there. a month anyway. Yeah. yeah. So that I'll be doing. Well, what is the speed of the service you're going to? One hundred, one hundred. So it's it can go actually higher than that, but. I'm looking at your loan eligibility under. Oh, yeah, 25.3. No, the grant money was 25.3. No, the, the loan money, money is 100, 100, yeah. yeah. Which is, you know, five. And, that, and so Comcast can't meet that, and, um, and Consolidated can't meet that. Oh, Consolidated, if Consolidated was truly interested, they could do it. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, anytime you see a telephone pole, and you see an orange, where the, pole, where the wire goes across the pole, mm -hmm. if you see orange, that's fiber. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fiber in town. Mm -hmm. I mean, is Comcast has got fiber, and Com yeah, all, all county roads fiber. So is the orange thing up at the very, like, at the top? It's where the, the wire goes across the pole. There's a little opening, and you can see orange. Oh, I'll have to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that's sort of my story. I don't know, I'd like, you know, support. I mean, I'll get the uh, my report to Barbara yeah. tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, no, it, it's been good. We we sent out a budget and a, a report only because under statute we have to do that every year. The budget is basically, I would say, almost a fabrication because we don't have any money. Right, but I mean, we're gonna pr we'll print your report. Yes. Report. Yep. Yeah. So that's. that's but you don't. What, you're not required to have us print your budget in the town. No. Right. No, okay. no, no, no. We just have to make sure every town that's a member has seen it and has looked right. at it, re mm -hmm. reviewed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we, we hope to have some money, but we don't. I mean, I think we've fundraised in the year and a half a total of $8,500, which is not a lot. And that, a lot of it came from our me members. Right, right. <laughs> Usually the way it works. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but it, the other thing I'd ask support is, if you know, you see people and you can talk it up, is filling out the survey. Mm -hmm. The other one is trying to get in touch with all the businesses in Calus. I don't have an address list. You might businesses. check with you might check with Barbara on that or Judy. They might have an idea. I don't we know. We don't have a business license, do we? No, no. no. So, or else the listers might be able to tell you who's, in business. who's got a business in their home because it would be on the lister card. Okay, right? good. But you might start with Judy yeah. and Barbara and ask them, yep. and then they might refer it over so, if they don't know. But that would be my suggestion: the lister cards. So for those, I mean, also because I'm working so much in GI State, I don't know if you knew this, but the. Parcel mapping, the callus is now online for the state, but the whole state is up now. Wow. <laughs> you can look at any town. V trends. I don't know if it's going to continue and whether, you know, that, the town got all the details on that if you want to oh. chat later. <laughs> okay. Um, so, anyway, that's my report. And you're sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. Thank you. Great. Thank, so you so Thank you so much. And like I said, post stuff on Front Porch Forum yeah. periodically because I, I think will. if people don't see anything, they don't even, it doesn't register that anything is going I'll on. I put paper surveys out in the hallway mm -hmm. here and at the Adamant Co-op, um, yeah, mm -hmm. this Adamant Co-op, the East Callis store, the East Callis Rec Center, mm -hmm. and the Maple Corner store. Good. Good. For those people who don't have internet. I haven't seen too many of them get mailed back to me though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, David. Anybody have any questions for David yeah. before he takes off? To I'm going to sit here and listen to the next. Long term, right. this is BCGI. So we're going to be doing that. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, next up. Hey. Oh, hi. Nice How are you? Good. Yeah, it's past my bedtime, but I'm happy to be here. Oh, come on. No, not in my mind. Uh, I get up early <laughs> in the morning and I come to I bed. I know. Bed. So uh, thanks for coming and reading the Yes, thanks for having us. We have two things to talk about tonight. Um, the first is talking about getting a question on um, town meeting to exempt a Memorial Hall from taxes, from property taxes. The second is the update on kind of where we are with the agreement mm -hmm. um, with the town as far as how, you know, what terms and conditions we've met so far to meet whatever the, the letter of agreement that we right, have. Right, the letter, right. Yeah. So, um, I think it'll be pretty quick. Um, um, this is um, just a formal request to request property tax um, exemption per Title 32, Section 3840. Um, we are a qualified charitable organization under that statute. Mm -hmm. um, I sent you a draft yeah, you question. Yeah, you sent me a draft question. Um, 
the term is adjustable by you. Um, you know, it, it can be maximum up, up to 10 years for the first request, and then after that 10 years expires, it adjusts down to five years. Okay, I wondered every, about that, because normally we do five years, so. Yeah. And it could be five years if people mm -hmm. are more comfortable with seeing that. Right. But that is our backup plan. Um, I know you have some other, right. other our, projects our, going on. Our primary plan is um, back in 1888. Oh, oh, I thought it was 1878. 18, 1888. Okay. The, hall was, the hall was built in 1885, 86. Um, Memorial Hall was exempted per state mm -hmm. act, of, yeah. act of legislature from paying taxes. Yeah, it was in Hoon Kate's book. Um, and we are going to see if we can re reactivate that statute or ensure that that statute transfers to, transfers to the new organization. Mm -hmm. um, it could be as simple as a few name changes mm -hmm. in the statute, um, but I need to talk with Legislative Council. I did reach out with Representative Ansel and Senator Cummings. They're both on the taxation committees okay. in the State House, so they're well prepared to kind of initiate something like mm -hmm. this. Um, but with any act of legislature, you just there's no predicting what's going to happen. Yeah. So um, and this is the second year of the biennium. Right? Yeah, yeah. But every year there is a you know miscellaneous tax mm -hmm. bill, and this is that's probably the likely vehicle for something like this to mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. slipped into these provisions. Um, but I haven't had a chance to talk with them in January. I was like, and, you know, I've talked to her before. She says let's just talk in January. Mm -hmm. So I don't know anything about it what her plans are to make this happen. I do know I have their support, but mm -hmm. this is... So how does that work, though? If it's exempted mm -hmm. by the legislature, mm -hmm. does the state send the school or the town? So Memorial Hall has never paid taxes. Right. That's so I mean. um, um, it does have a, a, a value on the lister card, mm -hmm. and I'm not a lawyer and I haven't researched this, but my presumption is um, I think it's valued at 132000 something. Current. That's the current valuation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Was, so everybody in the state pays that, and that's the advantage of the statutory approach, is because mm -hmm. the, the cost of that parcel is spread out through all taxpayers, whereas mm -hmm. the local exemption option, right, only callous residents, taxpayers right. pay the that problem. difference, right? And so that's our preference, <laughs> and that's the route that we'd like to go, mm -hmm. um, because we do have, I think, you know, well-placed committee chairs who represent this mm, district yeah. and are supportive. I'm hopeful, but I just don't know. Right. Um, and we are a nonprofit organization, on a shoestring like everybody else. Right. Right. Um, the work of, of the Hall Association and the use of the building has not changed. You know, it's still going to be public and use. It's still going to be seasonal yeah. only for and the part of the year. You still can't really use limited it right use. now, right? But the public will still have access to the beach. Mm -hmm. You know, there will certainly you know be access to the property. So that hasn't changed, and so that's ba our basic argument. Like, mm -hmm. well, ownership has changed. The public intent of the organization remains the same. We still have, um, we in fact have a legal agreement with the Sons of the Union Soldiers that they have access to the property. So, you know. So I have a question. Um, you own the property. You purchased the property. What was the purchase? You didn't price? purchase the property. Oh, you haven't purchased it yet. We no. received transfer of ownership. Yeah. And we paid to cover the closing costs uh -huh. of the women's relief floor. So, so there's no, so there's no agreed upon price. purchase price. We, uh, that we, because that's going to affect the valuation, right? So the, oh, the, the hall, on the, the hall was was transferred to the new association. Okay. We did pay for the parking area, mm -hmm. which is the triangle next to the fish access. So the hall was con was con conveyed without right. for one dollar. I don't even Not know what they did. And other, usually it's one dollar other consideration. Um, the, so you didn't pay anything for the purchase price? Well, we paid for the parking area. There's a triangle area, which is, we, we paid, I think, $14,000 for that. Mm -hmm. um, there was an interest in splitting that out, and that the parking is necessary to support the hall and the swimming yeah. area, so we wanted to keep that. So that's, we had to right. buy that. Yeah, um, great. You know, the terms of the agreement were, you know, prove to us that you can raise the money to uh, put, to that's put what, yeah, the, the yeah, hall yeah. back together again. And right. the intent so was that was the interest. We had to raise mm -hmm. a certain amount awesome. by mm -hmm. December of mm -hmm. 2018. Oh, I thought it was to purchase the uh, building. Yeah. It was just, it was that to we show have that, that money would, to show we could stabilize the building. I see. That was kind of an interesting deal. And I mean, but that really goes with the, the you know, 
the historical legacy mm -hmm. of the building was yeah. right. it, it started this way with these three groups right and it was just conveying it to someone who could carry on who could care for it I think that helps that argue for the, the continuation of the exemption mm -hmm. huh, interesting. Yeah, I've got that. I'm sorry to hear you say that John no, that, <laughs> yeah, I'm joking yeah um, so again, you know, um, you know, we would like to see this warned. Um, we'll prepare materials and you know, happy to answer questions. Right. And I think the big thing is going to be for how long, mm -hmm. and what is the town share, and what is the school share that the town is going to mm -hmm. have to come up with? Because as you know, because of Act Forty Six, mm -hmm. all of our property taxes already went up, mm -hmm. and it doesn't sound like from what I'm reading that there's any chance at any time that they're going to go down. They're just going to keep going up as a result of Act 46. They're never going to go down. So the impact on the taxes are not questions I can answer for you. The listers are going to have to do that. Right. Um, and that you know, should be part of the conversation. Right, it will be at that meeting, yeah. Um, but it's, it's not unlike all the other. We have several buildings mm -hmm. that seek this exemption that provide yeah. a community benefit or service. Yep. Yeah. Um, and again, this hall has never paid taxes. Um, and I think the nuance I think that we'll offer is we are pursuing a legislative strategy, mm -hmm. and our hope is that will happen. But the timing of this is you know March. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. Any tax bill or any legislative action on a tax item is at the very end of the session, so we're not going to know until May. Okay, right, right. Exactly. So we just don't have you know. Even and it may not even get anywhere this year. It might have to be. Perhaps. You know the next biennium. Yeah. You so you just, well, it's kind of catch twenty two, isn't it? If, if the town approves the exemption, mm -hmm. then what incentive is there for the legislature to approve it? Right. Um, we do it one, one year. That is a fair point, so do it one, for one year. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I put it in for mm -hmm. a year. Um, yeah, for that one for don't. Yeah, a don't's not what I would like. <laughs> <laughs> but a don't, yeah. if, if it was a don't, is there yeah. an opportunity to later we could do um, an abatement. And then I wonder what is also the question of, and I don't know anything about mm -hmm. this, but if we received ownership well, I think there is. July 10th, halfway through a year, mm -hmm. North Cows Memorial Hall. Is that when you guys took ownership this year was yeah. July? So then what happens when? So it's the ownership, ownership as of last, we, we were told so we last March. We will have owned it for sure. six months. Uh, it has to do with, we were told. Mm -hmm. It's the ownership as of I think Sandra said this mm -hmm. last March I think. Last March. We don't have. We didn't you didn't own it then. No, it was still it was that. still owned by the right, buyer, so, so therefore so it, was it wouldn't be taxed this year. So, yes, yeah. what, mm -hmm. based on what Sandra told us mm -hmm. when right. we brought that up. You didn't get a tax bill. So it might be year. next year actually. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. Taxes might be are April one. April one. Yeah. So that's why you didn't get a tax bill. May June. This it's not a prorated thing. It's either it's in for this year or it's not. So it sounds like it right. sounds like uh, we thought the conveyance was last year. So it was just yeah. a summer. July 10th was when we so, so it sounds like mm -hmm. this year you're good. And, mm -hmm. and then the warning. So how do we confirm that though? Do you know? Uh, talk to Sandra. Talk to Sandra, our treasurer, and yeah. she used to be a clerk in Worcester too, and and she can that run that down. Too. She's also our yeah. She's our. So that would be you know, give us a little breathing. If that's day. true, so, yeah, then we can explore this option yeah. and not have the question. Yeah, we might be um, able to put it off till the you find out what happens with right. the legislature, and then we don't have to kind of open that Pandora's mm -hmm. box of well, if we exempt it this year, sure. the legislature will say, well, then fine, let them keep doing it. So can we? Can we make a decision contingent upon Sandra's? <laughs> well, we're we're meeting on Saturday to talk about yeah. budgets, and okay. she's going to be at our meeting, okay. so we can she can fill us in on what she told what, you. What she tells you. Yeah, we're, I think we're pretty clear that mm -hmm. it, your tax status is you know we're all homeowners. It's determined as mm -hmm. of April first, mm -hmm. right? So okay. as of April first, two thousand. 19, 19 right. the ownership was women's relief right for and so or the tax year that ends on december 31. so it wouldn't be year. until yeah. april okay. 1 of 2020. Okay. Okay. so that would still be tax exempt right. then for more status year. if that's for the more case tax year. well let's no i, I would think for it would this be, current it, it's only year. this right. current right. calendar yeah. year right. so it would be the next if it, it would be as whatever the ownership right. is as of April 1st, 2020, so, for the current tax year, because tax year is calendar. Mm -hmm. when you know, when you, it's in the calendar year that you collect the taxes. 
Sometimes it doesn't become delinquent until the next calendar year, mm. but that's I'm another whole ball yeah, game. Right. So, so I guess this isn't premature then. So, the, I mean, but if, they didn't get a bill. No, we they won't get a bill for this year, but right. oh, you will well, next year. Well, not yeah. No, they will next year. Next year we yeah. will if our legislative solution does not work, and then there we are back to kind of where oh, we that were. Bill. I think you meant a legislative yeah. bill. I thought you were yeah, yeah no. So I guess the question to ask is, and we would have to look at, we could look at the abatement criteria. Mm. That that's an option if we don't, and I, I can I'll pull out the abatement material. Be a hardship thing. Just case, and I think and and there is a hardship. Well, there is because they don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> and you just and you're a nonprofit. Yeah. So I think there's criteria that an abatement request could fall mm -hmm. under. Yeah. So that might be the backup plan. Instead of a warning. Right. Instead mm -hmm. of putting it on the warning, which. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, that whole issue. I mean, if I like, you know, we said if we abate it. I mean, if we don't charge, if we do the exemption, then mm -hmm. they might say, well, then why should we bother? Mm -hmm. I would. And I think you have more leverage. Because I mean, they're asking the question. Right. I, and I think you have more leverage to say the town didn't put it on the warning. Yeah. Um, well, you no. can say, ask them to say we we your fruits. <laughs> Right. I didn't what, follow what, what you said. Yeah. That, well, we said, that we said we wouldn't put it on the warning. Yeah. But you don't have to tell them why. Yeah. Right. right. And don't let it tell them about work at the yeah. camera. Yeah. Right. And, and, what night, yeah. and what night and what night and what time. Yeah. Well, and, and I think what we're not saying that we've talked about here is, and so you guys may or may not know this, it was it. Thank you, David. I, I now, Careful out there. I, Good I, night. Perhaps only understand what the thing I understand. <coughs> but at the town, yeah, you said it earlier, at the town level, right Right now the town isn't paying the sure. taxes. And so with your increased value, yeah. and I assumed it would be valued at, the valuation would be fair market value. And I don't. Mm -hmm. the list, the list, well, the listers will give it the value. Well, so right, there's that's... nothing's been changed on the property. There's right. no it's new value not... to the property. No, there isn't any it's new not... value until no, you start. We made no work. investment in yeah. it. Okay. So it's so, value but as you do, but as, as you work, the yeah. value of the building will increase. Correct. Yeah, right. and, and so the property tax right. value will be more. And as that happens. The tax, the other taxpayers in town, all of us included, no, this is, have to come up with the difference. Right. And this is why we want to pursue the legislative. Yeah. I like yeah. the legislative. We like that idea a lot. That's Shocked a really good idea. That. If you would like us to help you with that, <laughs> <laughs> we always um, like to come. Uh, I'll be sure to get you in the witness chair mm -hmm. uh, about the. Um, so, we will. I will reach out to the treasurer okay. and confirm. It sounds like that's true, but it'd be good to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. No, she can confirm it. And then, if can you? Share abatement statute, or do you want us to look that up, or what? No, I can just send you the forms we use. Okay. It's all right there. Okay. Just making, yeah. And that will be our redundant plan in case things don't work in the legislature. And we, you know, we're committed to pursuing this. Mm -hmm. I just we just don't control that process, or right. what the governor does. I wish you guys did. Yeah. With a lot of things. Oh, oh sister, <laughs> my life would be much easier. <laughs> of course, the, the trick is to get it into a the budget bill, not a standalone. Right. So you probably don't have a prayer. Well, yeah, I, I presume it would be in the miscellaneous tax. But I think you've got a really good history of, look, mm -hmm. it's been this way for mm -hmm. since 1888. Right. We're trying to save the building. It's historic. It was the last, I mean, you guys got the whole spiel. Yeah. And it's, you know. And it's a very good story. The a really important one. Use has well, not just changed. The, yeah, I mean, continuity mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the. Right. I mean, you got the Veterans the Memorial right. stuff there. I mean, you've got a lot of compelling. It's open to the public. Right. So. You've got a lot of compelling right. story right. to right. tell. Yeah. All right, so that's that. Okay. And once I meet with um, Representative Ansel and have a little bit more information on what her strategy is, that should be in January. I'll, I'll, I'll circle back with you. Okay. Um, That'd be any, great. If an email, would that work? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yep. Chair of Ways and Means, you should be able to do this. Yeah. Uh, to, to okay, so the next so item. The power comes great responsibility and attention, too. So. <laughs> um, so, related to an update on all things environmental minded. Mm -hmm. um, I like this. I see you got, you got, we got the Garb Road sign, mm -hmm. you got the beach. We had the sign up. We had the sign. It blew down, 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 down Halloween in that storm. Yeah. 
ripped it off completely, that big storm that, you know, oh, no. I mean, we still have it, it's fine, we just have to put it back up. Wow. And we have a backup sign too. But um, so this touches on well more things than you probably asked for, but just to no, it's good to have put it all out there. But um, so we did we did um, have the natural resources inventory, which uh, we invited CCC members to come to, and Larry Bush mm -hmm. and Stephanie were there, as mm -hmm. I recall. Um, Eric Swanson did the did the survey. Eric yeah. yeah, Eric Swanson. Mm -hmm. uh, we did develop an interim management plan, which was submitted to Karen Freeman at VHCB, and she approved it. Um, That's great. You connected with Lydia finally. She was wonderful. Yeah. That was great. Um, and then we talked with Maple Corner people about Curse Pond swimming area issues. We mm -hmm. put up revegetation zone tape to keep people from areas that had started to get really trafficked and worn mm -hmm. down. Um, we, we closed down the nude beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I notified the public of what they could do to help on Front Porch Forum, put the sign up, mm -hmm. which is listed there of all the things we're asking for. So we're like, you know, no dogs, no all that stuff. You um, no glass sign? No <coughs> glass, no glass. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, you mean no dogs, you can't walk on Well, we don't want dogs on the swimming access area. Oh, you can still walk on you the You can still walk. Yeah. We just don't want, yeah. we basically don't want feces do. there mm -hmm. where people are gathering mm -hmm. and where it goes into the water. I think so dogs there. well intended, but dogs mix and then they get, they fight with each other. Yeah, we want to avoid yeah. them. There's that. Like oh, there yeah. was a, an issue at Curtis Pond where someone was swimming and she, a dog swam out and it was just the summer, like just clawed at her. And mm -hmm. What? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's, there's something. And even if they're being playful, it can be bad. Right. So, yeah. but but also just environmentally, right. Well, yeah. ecologically. Right. Right. I have a dog. I know what they do. Um, <laughs> Real <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And yeah, so we you know we spent the summer sort of as it came up or whatever, talking to people and showing them where they could park or not, and um, all that. And so then on um, the actual specifics of the grant award. Mm -hmm. Conditions. The first one involving yeah, um, reviewing reviewing the easement language that for us has not yet been finalized. That's still mm -hmm. sort of on hold. Mm -hmm. But I guess I should rewind and say so. Where we really are is we received ownership of the property July 10th, and then we spent a very intense couple of months considering proposals from architects mm -hmm. and trying to nail that down, hoping to mm -hmm. get to work as soon as we could. Mm -hmm. But all those things take longer. So we finally settled. Um, and hired, and we're really happy with it, um, a guy named Ryan Neal Edwards, who lives right in East Yeah, I was saying he was right in town. We just appointed him to the DRB. Yeah, but he said he was looking at Sucker. that. Sucker, yeah. <laughs> um, He grew up in Vermont, and he and his wife just moved here, That's and it was like, great. fell into our laps like this guy. We considered some others too, mm -hmm. and he just seemed like the right choice. He's doing an incredible job already. Good. And Good. Um, Bob Neal of Engineering Ventures, who's worked on all kinds of historic I've heard that name properties. Yeah. So, he consults with the, um, on the town hall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I've heard it. So he's the engineer. Um, and then we hired Brian Clark as our project manager. Oh, wow. So, so that all just, local. we've had one meeting with all of those yeah. three people and now they're all kind of doing this. They can't really do anything until spring, right? So that's, yeah. that's my point about part two here is that we hope to begin the actual work mm -hmm. in spring. So in terms of the, that $20,000 would be awarded um, at the commencement of phase one construction activities, that's what you can anticipate mm -hmm. time-wise. Can I make a suggestion? that you set up an appointment to go to a conservation commission mm -hmm. meeting and give them an update just like yep. you're doing with us yeah we'll go a long ways yep. yeah yeah we we have a i mean i'm not a board member and mm -hmm. our, our vision is to um like Gus Seelig and myself our advisors to mm -hmm. the association and we would like to broaden the group um, to include you know informal advisors to ensure that the, the parcel gets used mm -hmm. in a way that everybody um, likes um, so, um, we envision including um, a, a veteran, um, you know, a member from the Callis Conservation Commission, a mm -hmm. member from the Historic Preservation Commission, um, a woman from, what's the... Well, we've already invited yeah. a few yeah. of these people mm -hmm. to, like, fill out all the facets mm -hmm. of, of Historic Preservation, Conservation, Veterans, History. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Lydia, I've invited, I have not heard back yet, mm -hmm. um, Lydia at Vermont Rivers Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Eric Sorensen has already... Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And 
we have more people that we want right. to So you have to, so you need to get somebody from the conservation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. So, so I would say, I, I'll send um, someone up. I think Stephanie's just the chair, Larry's the vice chair. Yeah. I'll let them know that you're going to set up a time to meet with them. Okay. To give and them I can, and um, I can send you a copy of the sneak report. Yeah, that'd be great. You want. Yeah. Yeah, electronic copy mm -hmm. would be great. Yeah. Um, well, I, I was, I've never seen the inside of the building. You yeah. had that thing in the fall. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Oh, you never yeah. Yeah. It's surprising wow. when you go upstairs. It's really yeah. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. it's huge upstairs. Absolutely huge. Yeah. And, you, you know, um, Preservation Trust in Paul Room was huge mm -hmm. in kind of getting yeah. us going, much yeah. like you guys at yeah. East Callis. Yeah. And we were thrilled, you know, two weeks before he died, he was able to come upstairs and see the building. Oh, it was isn't just that really wonderful? Nice and special. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah. Great. Um, we almost got him to see the town hall. Mm -hmm. Almost. Yeah. I saw that on the um, house tour day. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Isn't it amazing? Amazing. No, yeah. it's only amazing. Well, never run that old building to fix again. <laughs> never. Never. We always have to keep coming up with them. Yeah. Find them all over the place. So and then, the, so third paragraph, IMP, um, interim management plan, and the natural resources inventory. Those have been done, and we have consulted with Eric Sorensen and Vermont River Conservatory. And let's see what else. So we we're doing everything that was asked of us, yeah. um, but I think I think what to was your point was an, up, was an update. To your yeah. point, yeah, we haven't circled back with them. But you've been busy. I get but, that. It takes a lot of energy. Well, it's sort of like time. Mm -hmm. What step? What order do you do? Yeah. What well, step? and like the priorities, you know, first right. we had to raise money to meet Peg's conditions. Right. Then we had to close on the property. And, it, you know, we're all, we can do one thing at once, mm -hmm. effectively. Volunteers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now we're circling back. Um, you know, now that we have a, man, uh, a construction team kind of getting us set, mm -hmm. getting our permitting set for this is project. That, is that on here? And it's not, you know, it's just what we needed to do. Is Peg on the advisory team, or is she totally? No, no she's, she's, she's done. She's Debbie's there. Yeah. Who's got Debbie has Debbie. Debbie. Yeah, and she was on. Um, yeah, Debbie. Oh, okay. Okay. She wasn't on. Mm -hmm. She was no. not recently on mm -hmm. the women's relief. Court. All right. It's right. good. Yeah. But now, but now she's, but now she's back because it has new ownership, right. and that's there's, great. There's yeah. continuity. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, good. So she was so excited at that tour. Uh, yeah. So excited. Yeah. yeah. It's great. It was a great day, and yeah. it was, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting a ton of people to come, but I was He pleased. was wrong. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, we're going to get 20 people out here. How many did you end up having? I think, I think we had at least 50. At least 50. Yeah, that's great. And, um, yeah, Dot was coming to see the building Dot was there. Was leaving. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't think we'd make much money or any, and there was a reasonable amount of checks uh, donated. And then we but in a way, the, the yeah. money was the least of it. Uh -huh. I mean, there were people that were coming, and they were crying, you know, to see it again. And so many people like Gail Graham who remember, mm -hmm. they graduated eighth grade there. Yeah. And um, they had the ceremony there? That's what they always did before the before there was a Calus Elementary U32. Eighth grade graduation happened there. Wow. Okay. What are you going to do with the hedges? To be determined. Yeah. Improve something. Um, I have no there. change, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, landscaping comes after. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the, the whole thing was that the veterans had, and I got various calls over the many years, that they can't get to the monument to see it. Yeah, right. The, I understood the hedges were, and this is just a story I was told, the hedges were planted because people had events out there, and the cars would come by, and the headlights would interrupt people's events. So they uh, planted the hedges to provide some oh, screening. Cool. I, I, and I heard that cars would just drive on the road and just, mm -hmm. like, circle around, mm -hmm. like, Unrelated to events. Oh, right, because it's a cool place. Oh, it was, it was a drinking road. I know yeah. that. Yeah. So, it's one of the drinking roads. So, Mary's right. The pri first priority is to get the building open mm -hmm. and landscaping later. Well, um, we just had, I don't know, did anybody see in the Times Argus on Saturday? There was a little Jeb Wallace mm -hmm. photo spread. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, um, didn't send it to us. It's not, you know, I can't find it online. It's one of those little gallery things. Because I, I don't subscribe to the Times Argus. Yeah. Maybe I can photocopy it. But he did. I he did photograph the the basement, which shows what's wrong. Like people mm -hmm. came to the open house mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, did you paint? It looks really nice." And no, <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. there's the the uh, the integrity of the understructures mm -hmm. were the biggest problem. So like well, yeah, problem. that was the whole problem, right? Yeah. It was yeah. the foundation. It's what you Moisture. can't see. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and you've got it ventilated now. 
Well, right. you know, it's, no. It wasn't at all there was, sealed up. There's, it is I mean, still honestly, sealed. we haven't still done is. anything. Yet. We cleared the cobwebs out, so yeah. I appreciate so that. We swept. Yeah. Um, but we yeah, turned the, the electricity on, and within a week we turned it off because uh, we thought. We I was just thinking, open that. some of those basement windows. Well, the they, they are open, open and they've been yeah. open okay. ever since. But okay. I'm not sure that ventilation is actually yeah. doing anything. Cause I don't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mary Jeff may be able to, before the Times Argus, they were probably share, donate the use of the photos. Oh yeah, that's a good that's idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. So we're. We're getting there, and the goal is spring to see some trucks and people yeah. working there. Yeah. Um, it'll be very nice to see. We've been nice. At it for what? Three years? Two years? Two. Two, two. two fall. Yeah. August. <laughs> no, I'm not counting. 2017. But you know, yeah, but who's counting, right? You know where the leach field is there? We do. Yeah. So oh, and we, yeah. And we're we not the really, park trucks. And, yes. and we were very happy to find out that the septic is in really good shape. Yeah. That was, well, yeah, we yeah, sent cameras news. down, yeah. and that was really good. I was happy to find that out. Yeah. yeah. Got some good news. We do have some good news. So thank you for your support. Yeah. Sure. And Thanks for the um, update. I yeah. learned a lot. Great. I mean, there's so many great projects going on in mm -hmm. town, and this is, you know, one of the mm -hmm. one of the many that are making you know making progress. That's great. Um, I did a great chat with Mark, and I'll tell you more about it later. But he's okay. got a whole checklist of things. Okay. For, Perfect for the store. Um, so I will talk with the treasurer and confirm yeah. our understanding. That right. seems logical to me. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to send me the abatement application, yep. Yep. Um, and I'll update you in January once we've checked in with Janet and Senator Craig. Right. And Mary's going to send me this, and I'm going to and we'll update Stephanie, Stephanie, yeah. Stephanie and Larry, and or the whole season. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm sure they would appreciate you coming to a meeting to yep. give them the whole update. They can ask. I hope they're not. You know, we're just there's no bad feelings. We're just. Oh, okay. I don't think so. All right. Yeah. You have a lot of good news to share. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when you haven't heard from us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Well, it also was kind of interesting. I mean, in terms of like we 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 couldn't do anything until we did open it, and then it was right. July tenth, and it was like summer. It was like first thing. Okay, put up some revegetation. Yeah. You know, right? Let's yeah. get a sign, and uh, uh, you know, yeah. just kind of so. Well, I love seeing the full, GAR full summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was, has, I that, think that was great to get. Yeah, Alfred got right on that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you again. And thank you. Thank you. if there's more questions, you know how to reach right. all of us. We do. And if you need <laughs> to meet with us, to let yeah. me know. Terrific. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a great holiday. You too. Yeah. Say hi to Friday for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the, the Friday joke? About your husband's thing? Yeah. About Monday or whatever? Yeah. Um, when, when Marcia was living with us, one of our special needs people, they were in the car and um, she said something about Friday's legs. Right. Short, 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 short legs. legs. Mm -hmm. And my husband says to her, well, if you think Friday's legs are short, you should see Tuesdays or something. <laughs> <laughs> so short at the end of the week, how short would you be at the very beginning? Right, yeah. exactly. You start out longer and wear down. Yeah. I saw I saw Jeff in the co-op, so congratulations on having a college son. I yes. Like well, lost yeah. track of where he was, school was. Yeah. Was like, oh my god. I know. It's been a lot of time since we since since that, on our that middle porch. school. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do with middle school? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a great Thanks. day. Yeah. Drive care, Thank folks. Guys. Let us know if you need us for anything. We'll do. Same here. Okay. So the next two things um, I'm going to need motions on. We have this resolution that John was going to work on. Could we put that off till Saturday? I didn't get a chance to touch Yep, it. sure. That'd be good. No problem. Wait, what is that? It's that the cat cannabis thing. thing. Clean it up. It's oh, yeah, right, right, right. Just no, big, no, 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 no. And then Cliff will give us an update. Um, and then it'll probably be nine o'clock. So we'll do other some other quick updates, and then we need to go back into executive session for personnel yeah. issues. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also want to remember that the roads are not great. Right. So we also are meeting Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just keep throwing that out there. Although I don't want Saturday to get consumed by everything else. We have right. got to focus Start on budget. Yeah. Right. Budget. Right. Budget. Right. budget. Yes, yes. Sandra gave us all a budget update for our folder. I will give her the Woodbury Fire Department.
budget information. Um, John Rose. Can you share? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so I like the finder system. Mm -hmm. I told Sam that we're very happy to do with it. <laughs> so last year, last year, um, we did, we put into the minutes the approval and the amounts of the select board annual stipend. And we also did the same for approval of the annual staff bills. So I'd like to us to consider that tonight as well. Um, last year we did um, $595, $594 for each member of the board, $1,189 for the chair, and that was calculated to be within the budgeted amount, which was voted on by the taxpayers, which is the same as this year. So let's talk about that one first. Where is it? It's on these. It yeah, so last year we took we, we took the budgeted amount and divided it and divided it out and arrived at the numbers that these just said mm -hmm. and the budgeted amount for this this, this year is, is the exactly same. the same so there's no reason to change yeah. anything. So um, I'm looking for a motion to. Uh, I'll we'll make a motion to authorize the uh, select board stipend amount of 594 for members and 1189 for the chair, which is calculated to stay within the budgeted amount, which was voted on by the taxpayers. Is there a second? Second. Okay, is there any further discussion? Hearing none? Everybody Aye. vote? Aye. 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 Hearing none? Motion carries. So the same thing um, with the road crew bonuses. We looked at last year doing gift cards, and there's no way to do gift cards because of the um, the, law. Fight, the law. Right. <laughs> we can't do the gift cards, so we decided to instead right. offer a three hundred and seventy-five dollar bonus before before withholding before withholding to each of the office staff members, Katie, um, and all of the road crew members, which is the same ones we have now, with half that amount going to the um, fill-in yeah. folks, which at the time was Dana, Poppy, and Ed Rowell. Right now we only have Ed. Okay. Dana's not on. So that's what I'm looking to do this year, unless somebody wants to do something different. So the office, it's, is it Sandra and? Judy and Barbara. Okay. And we gave Katie the same amount. Okay. And it's the same amount for the road crew with half going to the temporary fill-in person, which right now is only Ed. And the road crew includes? Alfred. But not Toby. Right. Okay. Right, that's what we did last year. Not the operations. Manager. Yeah, coordinator. Coordinator, right. Okay, I'll make a motion that we offer staff bonuses as Denise outlined. Okay, is there a second? Second. Oh, okay, is there any further discussion anybody wants to have? All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I'm ready. Thank you, you Rose. Um, we're going to put off the resolution. Oh, <laughs> Fill in the blanks. Um, Cliff's going to give us an IT update. And while he's doing that, I'll pass out checks. Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> very prompt. Wow, that's that fast. fast. In <laughs> anticipation <laughs> of approval. That's just uh, well, that's suppressed. exciting. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for your continued service. Another reason to go to the bank tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, after the select board met, with uh, Ruben from RD Tech. Um, we had a follow-up meeting with the um, office staff. Unfortunately, Sandra was uh, unable to attend because she was out sick that day. Um, but just to briefly summarize, um, it offered Judy on behalf of her discussions with the other office staff to uh, make sure Ruben had addressed any other lingering concerns that they might have had and whatnot. Um, and she felt that 
he had done a he and his team had done a good job of addressing those mm -hmm. concerns. Um, we also talked a little bit. I tried to drill more into the details of your idea, Sharon, of wanting to really build a partnership. Yeah. And um, talked by was great Ruben, length. Was Ruben there? Yes. Okay. So present was myself, Ruben, and uh, Judy. Uh, Barbara was here, but she was manning, manning the storefront, as it were, mm -hmm. and Sandra was excused for illness. Um, so he is going to share with us, um, because something new that they're doing is every year they, for whoever they're partnered with, be it a municipality or a private concern or whatever, they do an executive summary. And that is something that would say, this is where you're at right now. This is the upcoming challenges we see in your IT infrastructure going forward. Um, he would be coming in on an annual basis to meet with the select board to present this. Mm -hmm. And he had actually uh, had started putting one together for us, but that's about the time that the RFP broke. Right. Right. And so he kind of halted. So now he's going back, dusting that off, and he's going to send it to me and I'll, of course, forward it to everyone. I thought that's what happened is when we sent out the RFP, he kind of said, okay, I guess I'm not going to do this now because, exactly. um, you know, because exactly. we're going through that process. Because we'll I thought be that able, was the plan. Yeah, and we'll be able to see what he has. Um, so I was encouraged to hear that. Uh, because that's something that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, the other part of it I touched base on with, I said, you know, you have this agreement, what he calls the perception agreement, and it's evergreen. It rolls over every year, auto renews. And I said, if I look at that contract and what's covered in it, none of that is valid here anymore. So if we were going to enter into some kind of automatic renewal type agreement, we would want it to be updated annually right. to represent what we're And we'd need a 60 day notice of update so we have the right to back. Does, but there's a 60 day window. 60 day out. window to back Does up. He do so this with everybody? Does he do this Does he do the same ever, what is it, evergreen? Everything. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty yeah. common. With everybody? Yeah, he does. Because I would think everybody would have the same concern. Trash haulers do it. But he has updated his internal policies and the language in the contract so that it would involve this route. Mm -hmm. So that was also something I was encouraged to hear that he had proactively done himself without our prodding. Mm -hmm. um, we discussed uh, budgeting. I need to circle back around to Sandra now so that we can put numbers into the budget. Uh, that give us an idea of what we might think we need for the upcoming year. Mm -hmm. The good news is, is because we've had to invest so much in upgrading our systems, the final piece of the puzzle is the server, which he did confirm we're on the tipping point of where you start really running a risk. But it will last us until the new fiscal year. So we will have an opportunity to warn this mm -hmm. okay. as part of our budget. Okay. So we and we can look at financing. Huh? Yeah, he gave us a financing company or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah North Star. North Star, Star Fireworks. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Safe place for your money. So we'll blow it up. Um, so we can look at, you know, an option, mm -hmm. a financing option if we decide we want to do that or if we can figure out where we can pull the money from to do it. That's another way. But the other part of it would then is we can take the amount of money that we've spent on upgrades for equipment in this current year mm -hmm. plus the amount that we would have to spend for the server upgrade, divide that before, by four because and effectively it. create a capital plan mm -hmm. for our IT systems going hardware going forward. So, so we can, for money in the technology fund then? Exactly. So we should have a figure for that for this. Right, and that's why I gotta circle then, back around right. with Sandra and make sure she understands what we need her to calculate for us. Right. So why um, divide it by four? 
because years. it's every four oh, years four. is when you want to start thinking right. about upgrading these systems. Is there any way we can get some figures or know whether we should lease this new server for putting, think, for putting an amount in the budget? I think we asked Sandra to go ahead and contact Northstar mm -hmm. and say what kind of terms do you offer and then we can look at it and see if it makes because, sense. Because, you know, getting these figures done and ready for the warning and town report is the yeah. deadline's coming it's right up. Hustle, hustle, so hustle. we gotta hurry so, up and get her to do so that. So that's why you know I wanted to give her a chance to get back, mm -hmm. be well. So you're gonna contact her. her. But I'll follow up with her tomorrow okay. and say, hey, this is what we need to do. Actually, she kind of already knows because Judy did uh, send her a, a summary of what we discussed mm -hmm. in the meeting with Ruben. I can, I think I have a copy of that. I'll forward it to everybody, so. Yeah, it would be good to have that summary. Yep. Um, and there's no municipal options, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, I think we, we could buy it cheaper from the state or something, or at the state rate or something. No, for this, I don't think. That would be a good idea. Cliff, when you say um, Ruben's going to, Ruben's working on a, on a, is it perception? Is that what you said? Perception, perception agreement. agreement. Perception agreement. That's is that the. That's the contract that. Okay, that's why. Why do they call it a perception? That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's just that. internal language that they use at RB Tech. Every company's going to have their own. Um, it's yeah. So that's the contract. Mm -hmm. So, so is for IT contract. services, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about the the management report. What mm -hmm. the executive, executive summary. Executive summary. He's working on that. Um, so great that. You said, here's where you are, here's where your vulnerabilities are, here's what you need to be thinking about over the next three years. Mm -hmm. Is also going to be solution oriented, help us prioritize. Right. right. Like like I mean what I'm what I what I what I'm hoping is that we feel like we've got an IT person on our staff who's exactly. taking ownership. Exactly. Of those because issues. they by whoever we contract with. Mm -hmm. That would be the expectation that they are effectively are acting as a department for us, and as we would expect annual mm -hmm. right. reports. You know, that's that's right. what this executive summary would represent, because it creates a situation where we can say to that vendor, "Here's things that we're working on that are coming up in the next year that." We've been talking about our meetings, but maybe you're not aware of. Right, right. like the digitization of the cost stuff is probably exactly. something we should have, we should have said to yeah. RB Tech, to our IT guy. Right, that yeah. you know we're gonna we're gonna start working on this project. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's on that's on us to also right. participate in that yep. communication. And yep. conversely, it is then their. Our expectation would be it gives them that opportunity to say, here's what's changing on the IT landscape in the world out there. Mm -hmm. We're not the experts, they are. They can tell us, guess what? Microsoft found some big issue and there's gonna be big changes coming up and that's a threshold of right. one year out or whatever. And we right. can be informed and be prepared for Well, that. I see this as a two-way conversation. We have a responsibility to let them know what's working, what's not, what big projects we have up, coming up, for instance, like the COTS one that we did and we didn't tell them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I see it as a two-way conversation so that it, where everybody's on the same page. Exactly. Yeah. And it, I was, like I said, I was encouraged to hear that he had proactively seen that this is a process that needs to happen and they implemented it themselves mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. our prodding. Good. So when are we going to get to the end of this? Yeah. Well. I think um, what I would recommend is we go ahead and uh, give everybody a chance to review the executive summary. When does so he have it? I'm going to ping him and ask him because I was thinking I would have it by the end of this week, first part of this week, so okay. based upon what he said at the meeting. So if I don't have it by tomorrow morning, then I'm going to ping him ping and him say, okay. you know, I need to get this in front of the board because, you know, we're getting deep into budget season and right. we need to finalize stuff. And you know what that's all about, having been on the school board yourself. <laughs> right. So, um, then we can see the numbers that uh, Sandra uh -huh. puts together for us. 
And, and you're going to contact Sandra to talk about North Star. Right. And then we can decide. Be good know, if she could have something maybe by Saturday. Exactly. That's why I want to call her tomorrow. Yeah. So Provided everybody can get to the office tomorrow. Right. Oh, yeah. She can work. She can work from home though. Mm -hmm. But what's tomorrow? Weather. Weather. Well, that's be that bad. well it's supposed to warm get really warm up. Isn't it? It's supposed to get really cold overnight, but then it's supposed to yeah. warm up. So depending on the timing of that, huh. time the, is going to be everything. Yeah, the road temperatures are not favorable. Right. So anything else, Cliff? Um. Let me just to myself. Holy Judy's. That's pretty much it. The only other thing I could add is we did discuss in the meeting with Ruben. Um, I bring this up because he mentioned it when he was talking to the whole select board that there might be a way to whittle down that number that he quoted on the server replacement. 18. Right. Um, How? I thought it was 10 for the server. I thought he said 10,000. The whole, whole project is 18. is 18 and change. Um, so what does that mean? So it's a server and maybe some workstation upgrades? Server, installation, the replication, also um, putting the uh, redundancies in place. Um, so, time and materials. Yeah. Um, What's their hourly billing rate? On stuff like that, is that 130 bucks or something? Yeah, 90 bucks. 160, I would say. God. Yeah, it's, it's not cheap. Uh -uh. But, For more than a turning. He, he was very adamant that if anything, it would come in for less, it would definitely not come in for more. I remember he said that the night he was here. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, he said. Um, the saving, potential for savings is nothing significant. At, at the most, it's maybe $500. Yeah. And what that would involve is um, the redundancy, mm -hmm. the le level of replication that we have uh, would basically be divided by half. So instead of four layers of redundancy, we'd have two layers of redundancy. Um, it doesn't. For the for the price difference, I don't think it's something that we should look at. I think that uh, if we're going to spend this much money, right, right, let's do it right. Right. We don't want to have to go back and do patches, yeah. have issues, which would then end up costing more money. Exactly. Okay. Is there anything else? It's nine o'clock. Um. Is there any other questions? Thank you so much, Cliff, for doing okay. that. Really awesome. appreciate it. Welcome. Um, since anything else for Cliff? Any more questions? Mm -hmm. Since we're doing, we're going to do um, budget warning on Saturday. This Saturday, um, Sandra's going to join us because she's on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, I already talked to her about it. Um, you might have seen the email that the capstone report will probably be ready like mid January. Mm -hmm. The what? Right. Right. It's a full year project. I guess. I'm, I, I'm not certain on the. Oh, okay. that's the my memory. Yeah, I didn't, get a, I didn't even get a real. I thought it was a year project. A year? Yeah. yeah so it because it's their senior year project and they don't graduate until May or something, probably, right? I think it's a semester. I think it's those seniors that took this capstone uh, right. this semester. And then next semester they'll take a class. Right. Maybe. You know, be I suppose we could like ask. I, th I thought I, I thought I, no. I think I did ask. <laughs> Just go on the UVM catalog, right? No, no. no I'm, I, I, I think I did ask, but I didn't really get an answer back. So I've got to follow up and yeah. see. But I know they're getting ready to go on break, so they weren't going to have their. They did a, a preliminary. You remember on yeah. January, December fourth, or whatever it was that they invited us to. So anyways, I'll, I'll follow up yeah. on that. Okay, so we're scheduled to meet from 9 to 1 at the town office on Saturday. And Katie and Rose helped me with finding the, or I, did you have anything to add to that list that Katie had that you could think of? 
Oh, of the I, town report? Yeah, I have a bullet point of the highlights of select board meetings that I'll use to make draft our select board report. Um, I'm not sure that I really saw that. Can you make right. sure to send it again? Um, sure. Okay. Um, I, I had, a, like with that Google Drive today, I had, it didn't like list a lot of stuff. And then it, yeah, and then hmm. it said like quick access and it listed a few things. So I emailed yeah. Denise to say, send me the link to Did the you get folder. Yeah, okay. I wanted to make sure that everything hmm. was in there. Hmm. So, so we're, supposed to, we're supposed to meet from 9 to like 1, and I thought we could order sandwiches or something, and maybe from one of the stores, and somebody could go pick them up. You know? Who? Um, does Maple Corner? Yeah, they do sandwiches. Maple Corner does sandwiches. Mm -hmm. East Cal's does sandwiches. So... Um, and don't forget, we're meeting with the East Montpelier Select Board on the 16th at 7 o'clock. Um, to in talk East Montpelier? In East Montpelier, this is to talk about the fire department proposed budget for FY21. Cliff and I were there last Thursday night for their presentation. Um, I think I can do that. Okay, because I'm going to do an agenda. Um, just FYI, I have to get on you, so I will be probably late. Yeah, well, it was supposed to, well, Rose was supposed to be there, but then her mother... I was in the ER for eight hours with my mother. No, instead. I'm staying for Monday night. Right, but it would last the 5th. Yeah. It I thought it two of you. It yeah. ended up being two of us, because then you went to your dad's party, and then you had your other yeah. incident. So, mm -hmm. um, we're not meeting on the 23rd. It's Alfred's last day. Yeah. Um, minutes. Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Minutes from December 5th. I don't know what we do about those because there wasn't a quorum. But we have minutes. Maybe we just leave them as unapproved. I don't know. Yeah. Or people can vote on them you that weren't there. Have you don't But you don't have to. You don't have to it's be not there. An official meeting. Oh, Katie she, was there. Right. You don't have to. You don't. <laughs> it's not an official meeting. Yeah. Can I finish? Sorry. You don't have to. You can vote on the minutes even if you weren't there. Right. But it's not an official meeting, so right. well. It, it contains lots of good information. Yeah, yeah, no, you, information. Can, you can have them, but you don't have to worry about voting on them. We so, have to vote on them anyway, but we just do that as. Do you want to, to review and vote on the minutes? Just put them. December fifth. I and read them and I thought they looked good. Um, they contain mean, lots of good information. Yeah, it's really good information. Yeah. As we're as we're going to meet with the mm -hmm. Snow Failure Board. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. But I think what John is saying, and I agree, is just put them out. But I think we need to, if we're not going to approve them, then we should say something at some point that these were not approved because there was not a quorum of the board well, present. Approve them, but I'm, what I'm suggesting is it's it's not a statutory approval requirement. I know. We do it, we do it as as you know, the right. But you don't matter of operation. But you can, the other thing is, is you can vote on them if you weren't there. No, I know. That's so separate. right. So I don't care how we do it. I just don't want to take a we whole lot of time to slide. That way Did you sanctions. see that bank fraud incident? That was pretty interesting. Do we get screwed? No. 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 The fire department caught the, the fire department caught it. They worked with the dealer. They worked with the the bank that the money was frauded to, or whatever the right term is. Huh. That was pretty interesting. Basically, what happened is the company they were purchasing this ambulance from emailed them the bill for the first payment. The person who sent that out, their email account was hacked. <coughs> oh. Whoever hacked the account yeah. saw that, did a fake version where they changed the routing. The routing numbers. So they put the routing numbers right in the email. Uh, in the attachment. To the email. So but the it's so like unencrypted, here you go. Right. right. Because so it person, was a money transfer. That person went in and said, oh, yeah. changed the routing, sent a new email that looked like it came from the same person and said, oh, disregard the last one. Here's the here's the correct routing information. Wow. Mm -hmm. $109,000. Mm, so in advance of a holiday weekend, mm -hmm. the um, <coughs> Chief and Toby went to pick up the ambulance, and the guy said, well, I haven't received your payment yet. And I said, oh, well, we sent it. And he said, you know, I'm not worried about it. It's the holiday weekend. I'm sure it'll be in the bank come Monday morning. 
Well, wow. fortunately, mm -hmm. who's oh, Which Toby? end was it hacked? Their end? It was their, their end. end. Yeah. Good. The dealer's Toby, end. Good. Yeah. Toby wasn't comfortable about that. So he contacted... What's that guy's name? Over the week. He contacted him over the holiday. Yeah, the, the main one of the head honchos at the bank that the fire department works with. He said, can you tell me if this is correct? When I don't... So the guy said, I can't do anything over this weekend, but we'll jump on it first thing Tuesday morning after the holiday. And sure enough, they figured out that it had gone to some account in South Carolina. Oh, I thought it was Michigan. That says Michigan. Yeah. Michigan? Okay, yeah. Michigan. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, wow. Maybe it was supposed to be a South Carolina account, and it went to this Michigan account. At any rate, short end of it is yeah. 10000 of it had already been spent, but 100000 of it was still there. Oh. So the bank president for our bank, the East Mount Peter Fire Department's bank, contacted that bank's president and they froze the account. So no more money could be. Wow. So how, how would you ever get away with that if you have a legitimate account and a legitimate bank? Well, why didn't they go to Nigeria or something? That's, why, yeah. that's where this guy kind of screwed up. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to do that, then you immediately transfer it again. Yeah. And play a shell game. But that's probably what they were going to do, but they got caught. Or it was the holiday weekend. Could be the right? holiday Banks weekend. Were got jammed up. Yeah. You know, the, the other tack there is 10000 had already gone out. It could be that they were going to split it up on uh, a variety it didn't of look like it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the fire, so the, actually, they were out the 10000 but the, um, vent, the dealer, the vendor, whatever he was called, they covered that $10,000. So probably the fire insured. Mm -hmm. Their insurance. Yeah. Right. Because it was hacked from their yeah. system. Well, 10000 is that magic trigger. There's a ten thousand greater than $10,000 transaction. Banks have to report it to the feds. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So hmm. that's why they picked that number. So anyways. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as is. Thank you. I second it. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Now we have the 1120. Was 1125? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did everyone vote to approve that? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, it was unanimous. Um, I had a couple little things, but. I'll tell this you is that. 1129. 1125. Where's my? No. Sorry. Oh, there's one. Stop that over there, you two. Listen, we're friendly. <laughs> that camera pointed at you to babysit you. You don't want big bad job to come down on us. <laughs> oh, that was what Cliff just reported that the reason that that meeting that Ruben talked about didn't occur was because we had put out the RFP. Right. So I just thought we should put that in the minutes for future memory. Mm -hmm. I see there's a comma. They inquired of Ruben, what are you doing here? Okay. So that was that. I think there was something else. Where did it go? Mm -hmm. Where did it go? There was something that there was. The server map? It was participated, and it should be participate. Oh, but the months ago, RB Tech promised to investigate charges. I mm -hmm. fixed that. Yeah. The Denise Wheeler? Yeah, but crossing fixed. out, crossing that out, yeah. Oh, I got to reorient my keyboard if I'm going to edit. Oh. I'll uh, just make a mental note and do okay. it. Okay. Um, then it seems like there was another one, and I put it in red. I did that little edit pencil thing. Where did it go? Here. Th that one, too. Construction will not happen. This is under... What thing is this under? Oh, CVRPC, the grant thing that Pam talked to us about. Mm -hmm. That was in red that year, 2021. Yeah, I just it just said construction will not happen this summer, but hopefully the following summer. I thought it was just good to have a, it's like which summer of which summer. Did we have any um, winter road conversation at that meeting? Not really, I don't mm -hmm. think we did. I think we just said that that report was in... I think it might be under my update at um, the end. Okay. We could look. 
because I want to yeah, make sure. Yeah, because I thought that you did talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I think it might, be, it, might be the, it might be at the end. I do want to make sure that we get in the minutes that you and, and Stephanie did outreach over the summer to try to corral a mm -hmm. committee. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. And. Oh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't say anything in there, did we? Wait, do we want to, did you have, a, did anybody else not have a chance to look at these? No, I looked at them. I don't know if we talked about it even. Last I think we did time. under my update because we talked about. Um, we just need to put that in writing sometimes so we have it to go back to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get you. Just put it in tonight. We can put it in tonight so we can put it in last week if we talked about it. Well, it's on tonight's um, agenda under my update. We just put it in there. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. I'll even write something for you, Rose. I just, okay. I've been looking at, you know, we went back to the minutes of yep. find, and it wasn't there. And I know we've talked about it. We've said talked it. about it. It just like, doesn't get it doesn't get recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So would there be a motion to approve the 1125 minutes with the changes as noted? So moved. Is there a second? A second. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, now I'd like to go back into a motion into executive session to discuss personnel matters per one BSA section three one three eight three. Do you want to make your statement about the roads committee and the fact that we've not well you're oh well you're for, well because that's not an executive session. Right. No, the roads committee um, I reached out I think we I reached out to Stephanie, I reached out to several people, all the people in fact. Came that in. came to those public meetings about the roads and mm -hmm. had issues or suggestions. I reached out to all of them to see if they would be willing to serve on the roads committee, and nobody was interested. And so the one what, thing we haven't done that we might do, I went and searched Front Porch Forum. We also have not posted a request on Front Porch Forum. Right, and also the roads committee is not interested as in this as part of their charge, but we could always change their charge to include this. But they're not they interested in capstone. They're not interested in helping to deal with the how to better manage the roads in the winter. Their thing was really about um, um, you know the the, Main, the, the, the maintenance and... of the of the roads in the summertime. Right. And ditching so, and so, so that's we a might, different different machine. And, right. and road widths. Different brain. Road all widths that. and culverts and trees. Trenching so, and invasives and all that stuff. So Cliff, you were saying when we were kind of gathering earlier that you're maybe interested in getting a little more involved in roads. So maybe that's a time well, to I was thinking is pick the that up with the UVM with the, might be in with the, to U, help. With yeah. the UVM report coming in so right. maybe that's the time to I think know. that might be better served to talk about that at a different time yeah but I, I think agree. the minutes can reflect what I just said yeah all right yeah okay. executive session at 9 15 do we vote aye aye aye